Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Everyone. Domain Master, Level 1 creates an absolute domain. Chapter 41. No, I'm a real field master, not a rich second generation, I'm just, living with three rich women. Chu Jia said half jokingly. When the young man heard this, his face was filled with emotion. Brother, it turns out that you earn a lot of money. Although being taken care of by a rich woman, it sounds very nourishing. But young people know that rich women are often fat women with extremely poor looks and extremely high weight. Serving one person is torture enough, but Chu Jia didn't expect to be responsible for three steel wire balls at the same time. This is not the way people live. Brother, I see you have just arrived, so you haven't found a trainer yet, right? Brother, I have already found a trainer, you can come with me. The young man looked at Chu Jia with sympathy and actively invited Chu Jia to upgrade together. In his opinion, Chu Jia, who had just changed jobs, could not kill monsters on his own. He must be looking for a trainer to upgrade like him. Since he had received such valuable equipment from Chu Jia, he naturally couldn't let Chu Jia spend any more money. Um, isn't it something many people envy to be taken care of by a rich woman? Brother, what do you mean by this look? Chu Jia was momentarily confused by the young man's pitiful eyes. After a while, he shook his head and said, Brother, no need. You can quit your training and come with me to level up faster. At level 25, Chu Jia can compete with level 45 job changers. Now at level 35, the attributes have improved again, and the speed of killing monsters is naturally faster than those who change jobs with training. Hearing what Chu Jia said, the young man looked serious and said in a teaching tone. Brother, you are eating the food of youth, you can't spend money like this. You are young and have good physical strength, but no matter how strong the cow is, it can't withstand the plowing of three fields at the same time. Have you ever heard of that saying? There are only exhausted oxen, but no damaged land. You should save more money now so that you can have a comfortable life when you can no longer work. So, listen to me, just go with me this time. I don't want your money. No, brother, why are you so well connected? Could it be? Although Chu Jia felt that young people were very loyal, he always felt that something was strange. At this moment, three young men came from the market slightly anxiously. The three of them are all tall and thin, with a somewhat gloomy look on their faces. They are 80% similar, and they seem to be brothers. Zhou Bui, why are you here? It's hard for us to find you. The young man at the head breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Zhou Bui, and spoke with a hint of complaint. Zhou Bui felt bad when he saw the three of them. He was busy chatting with his brother and forgot the time. Hey, I'm sorry, Brother Huang, I met a friend I haven't seen for a long time. We were so happy chatting that I forgot about the time. The three people in front of him are the training team that Zhou Bui found, the three brothers Huang Dahai, Huang Erhi, and Huang Sanxi. Although their level is lower than other training teams, only LV45. However, all three of them are A-level job transfer, Ice Mage, and they are extremely powerful against the monsters in Fire Volcano. Of course, the most important reason is cheap. Training costs only 5,000 yuan a day, which is one-third of the price of other training programs. With Zhou Bui's wealth, he could only afford this kind of training. Brother Huang, this friend of mine also came to Fire Fire Volcano to level up. I want to take him with me. Do you think it's okay? When Huang Dahai heard this, he frowned and decisively refused. Brother Zhou, this is not okay. If you bring more people, you will have to take on more responsibilities. Aren't you adding to our burden? Zhou Bui sneered. Brother Huang, don't worry, I will just protect him. Although it's a little difficult for me to kill monsters with my strength, I can still save my life. Huang Dahai frowned even more tightly, and his face became ugly. Zhou Bui, you really don't have much strength, and you have a bad tone. Can you 100% guarantee that nothing will happen? If you can, then I will take him with me. Zhou Bui's expression was a little stiff. He didn't understand why Huang Dahai, who had always been easy to talk to, suddenly became so unkind. At this moment, Huang Erhi on the side smiled and smoothed things over. Brother, Brother Zhou also paid. He has the final say on how many people he brings. As long as he doesn't care about losing experience. 
I think this little brother is handsome and certainly not an ordinary person. Let's treat him as a good seller. Hearing Huang or He's words, Huang Dahai's eyes turned wildly, he glanced at Chu Jia a few times, and coldly snorted. Whatever, I only care about killing monsters and not protecting them. Don't blame me if you die. After saying that, Huang Dahai turned around and left, heading towards the outskirts of Leon Volcano. Little brother, don't mind. My eldest brother has this temper. He is a good person at heart. Huang or he smiled at Chu Jia and called Huang Sanxi to follow him. Brother Chu, let's go, let's catch up quickly. Let's just gather experience from a distance. Don't come forward to join in the fun. Zhou Buyi tugged Chu Jia's sleeve and whispered a reminder in his ear. Zhou Buyi originally planned to lose money, but he didn't expect Huang or he to come forward to speak for him. Maybe it's because of my handsome face. It's good to be handsome. Okay, thank you bro. Chu Jia nodded hesitantly and followed with Zhou Buyi. Originally, Chu Jia didn't plan to join this group of people. With his strength, he didn't need to be trained at all. However, the faint black glove mark between the three people's necks made Chu Jia change his mind. Chu Jia had seen the same marks on the three dungeon robbers in the rugged plain. I don't know if this is the logo of the copy robbers or the logo of the Liang group. But no matter what, these three people are probably not good people. Follow them and take a look. Whether they are coming for me or brother Joe, I can't just sit idly by. As you go deeper into the dungeon, the land under your feet turns into volcanic rock after solidified magma, shaped like waves, layer by layer. The color of volcanic rocks is pitch black, but if a certain patch of ground emits red light, it means there are monsters lurking underneath. Puff, feeling the approach of the five people, a stream of flames suddenly burst out from a piece of fiery red volcanic rock, floating in the air. Its shape is like a burning flame, but there is an arm-like structure in the middle, which looks very weird. Fire Element Mobs Level LV40 Physique 122 Spirit 135 Power 111 Speed 134 Skills Burning Fireball Fire Explosion Fire Elementals are the lowest level fire element monsters. They have no intelligence or even consciousness. It will only instinctively attack creatures that enter the range of perception. Puff puff puff. Three fireballs separated from the flame element and flew towards the three Huang brothers. The three Huang brothers are also regular visitors to Fire Fire Volcano, so they are naturally well prepared. The magic books in front of the three brothers shone with ice blue light at the same time, and dozens of ice picks quickly condensed and collided with the fireballs. Laugh. A stream of snow white steam rose up and all the fireballs were extinguished, but only half of the ice cone evaporated, and it hit the flame element with unabated force. The ice cone was quickly melted by the high temperature on the surface of the flame element, but the flame element also gradually became weaker, and the color changed from fiery red to dark red. Hoo ho! After completely melting all the ice cones, the flame element seemed to be angry, its body expanded in a circle, and fiercely collided with the three Huang brothers. Ice Wall the three brothers were already familiar with the fire element. Six ice walls condensed in the air and fit together tightly, forming an ice cage that tightly locked the fire element inside. The fire elements were running rampant, but they could not break through the frost cage no matter what. A steady stream of cold air poured into the flame element's body, and its color gradually dimmed, eventually disappearing without a trace. Teammate Huang Dahai killed the flame element and gained 500 experience points. The faces of the three Huang brothers all showed pride. Killing the flame element back and forth took less than five minutes in total. This is their capital to gain a foothold in the harsh environment of Leon Volcano. It's so strong. I hope they can bring me up to level 36 today, so I can barely find a team. Zhou Buyi watched from a distance, his heart full of envy. Chu Jia didn't take it seriously. It took five minutes to kill a monster. It was really too slow. But with Zhou Buyi chatting by the side, he wasn't too bored. Brother, how do you know these three people? On the day I left my job, I encountered something unexpected. They thought that the materials and equipment were unstable, so they wanted to find someone to upgrade them and earn some training fees. Chu Jia asked for information about the three Huang brothers in a circumstantial manner. 
It was finally determined that these three people should be from the Liang group, but they were not coming for themselves, but specifically looking for Zhou Buyi. I just don't know what there is about Zhou Buyi that the Liang group will miss. Outside the flaming volcano, the monster level is between LV40 LV45. The three Huang brothers have level suppression, numerical superiority, and attribute restraint, making it easy to deal with the fire element. In less than an hour, nearly ten were killed. Brother Joe, let's rest for a while. Later we will open the cave. The monsters there have higher experience. Huang or he came over to greet Zhou Buyi and Chu Jia with a smile on his face. The so-called open cave refers to the area formed after clearing the hidden map. Although the difficulty of the monsters inside is reduced, they are still stronger than ordinary monsters and therefore have more experience. Okay, okay, sorry for the trouble, Brother Huang. Zhou Buyi had no doubt that he was there. Along the way, he had full trust in the strength of the three Huang brothers, and he was secretly happy that he could find such an awesome coach at such a cheap price. It was such a bargain. Huang or he turned his eyes, looked at Chu Jia, and started chatting actively. As soon as I saw my little brother, I felt so familiar. I wonder what I call my little brother. My surname is Chu. Brother Huang can just call me Xiao Chu. Ha ha, it turns out it's brother Xiao Chu. He dares to come to Leon Volcano at this age. He's not an ordinary person. Brother Xiao Chu's family must be great, right? Brother Huang thinks highly of me. My parents are dead and no one cares about me, so I can be as wild as I want. The two chatted, hotly, for a while, and then Huang or he got up and left. Second brother, we can't let others know about this kind of butt-wiping thing we do. Why did you ask me to bring that kid with me? Seeing Huang or he coming back, Huang Dahai asked doubtfully. Huang or he smiled sadly and told the whole story. Brother, don't you know? This boy's seemingly ordinary top costs tens of thousands. When Huang Dahai heard this, his pupils suddenly shrank. An ordinary top is worth as much as a piece of top-grade bronze equipment. What this means is self-evident. This boy named Chu is so rich. As a black glove, Huang Dahai secretly makes a living by burning, killing and looting. At this moment, when I smelled money, I couldn't help but start to feel restless again. But he also knows that there are some people who can be messed with and some people who cannot be messed with. What's more, this is not the territory of the Liang group so he needs to be careful. Second brother, you have a quick mind, can you do this job? Huang or he blinked his eyes and couldn't help but curl up the corners of his mouth. Brother, don't worry, I just told you that this guy is probably a nouveau riche and has no influence in Dongsheng city. Also, I always feel that this kid looks a bit familiar, and maybe he is also a target in our mission. Hearing Huang or he say this, Huang Dahai felt relieved. The second child has always been the strategist among the three of them. Since he said it was okay, then there was a high probability that it would be okay. I didn't expect that I could still make a fortune by finishing the job. I have to say that I am really lucky today. Ha ha. Chu Jia naturally didn't know that he was being targeted by the three Huang brothers because of a shirt Tang Ya bought for him. Not far away, there was a shadow that was also paying attention to Chu Jia. It was the housekeeper Zheng Shan. No wonder Chu Jia dared to come to the fiery volcano dungeon. It turns out he found a leader to train him. Ha ha, I'm so stupid, I actually expected him to have some hidden cards. This stinky man is really too cunning. When he goes back, he will definitely tell the ladies that he bravely braved the flaming volcano by himself. The innocent ladies will definitely be deceived by his sweet words again. Zheng Shan clenched her fists and looked at Chu Jia with gritted teeth, her eyes full of contempt. Immediately, she smiled coldly, took out her mobile phone, and recorded all the scenes in the distance. HMPH, Chu Jia, you never imagined that the righteous housekeeper is always following you. Your hypocritical behavior will be recorded one by one and then presented in front of the lady. I, Zheng Shan, am the scumbag terminator. Humph. The three Huang brothers rested for a while, then got up and continued moving forward, with Chu Jia and Zhou Buyi following from a distance. Led by the three brothers, the five people entered an underground cave. The underground cave was extremely hot, and the surrounding stone walls were baked black and dry. You can often see small rivers of magma on the cave floor, 
crisscrossing and forking like blood vessels, giving Chu Jia the illusion that he has entered the body of the flame giant. In the cave, although the appearance of the flame element is still abstract, its shape is more distinct, and the outlines of some creatures can be vaguely seen, which shows that they are developing consciousness. The level of these flame elements has reached level 45, and it will take a long time for the three brothers to work together to kill one. I don't know how long it took, but the five people advanced to a lava river. The fiery red magma flows like water, and from time to time a few hot bubbles burst, producing a thick, unpleasant smoke. Hoo ho ho, I'm so exhausted. Every time I come here, I have to spend a lot of effort. Huang Dahai gasped and cursed secretly. Isn't it all for safety? What we did is so shameful. No one is paying attention here, we can get down to business. Huang or he smiled sadly and gave orders to Huang Sanshi. Third brother, go and bring those two boys over. You two go over, my eldest brother has something to do with you. Huang Sanshi walked up to Chu Jia and Zhou Bui raised his eyebrows in the direction of the magma river, and motioned for them to go over. Brother Huang, what happened? Zhou Buyi asked sarcastically. Huang Sang's eyes cold attitude made him feel uneasy. You'll know in the past. Huang Sanxi said coldly, then stopped talking and stood behind the two of them, blocking the retreat. Okay, okay, let's go there. Brother Chu, don't worry, you should just discuss with us where to go to spawn monsters next. Zhou Bui gave Chu Jia an ugly smile, as if to comfort Chu Jia, but also to comfort himself. Chu Jia nodded silently and thought to himself. It seems that the three Huang brothers are habitual offenders and have their own crime bases. Seeing Zhou Bui and Chu Jia walking over in fear, Huang Dahai grinned, showing his white teeth. Zhou Bui, come this way, how do you feel about my training service? Zhou Bui smiled flatteringly and said with compliments on his face. Brother Huang's strength is really high. The speed of spawning monsters can even keep up with the level 50 training team. Although Zhou Buyi doesn't know what the three Huang brothers want to do, he can definitely say good things. Ha ha, as long as you are satisfied. Huang Dahai laughed, his whole person's temperament suddenly changed, like a beast out of the cage, a ferocious flash in his eyes. Now let's get to know Huang Dahai from the Liang Group's Resignation Investigation section. Zhou Bui, we suspect that you have material that is detrimental to the Liang group. Now please cooperate with us in the investigation. Hearing this, Chu Jia and Zhou Bui had expressions of astonishment on their faces. Chu Jia was a little confused. What is this special thing about the resignation investigation department? Zhou Bui's complexion suddenly became extremely ugly, and blue veins popped up on his forehead. Mater, sure enough, it's cheap but not good. He had doubts about such cheap training. But when I thought that I was broke and had nothing to covet, I simply became a bachelor for once. I never expected that the three Huang brothers were actually members of the Liang group. What's more, I didn't expect that even though I had resigned, the Liang group still refused to let me go. Liang's group, are you done yet? I've already resigned, and you're still annoying me like a fool. You are also a big company in Dongsheng City, so you are bullying people like this, right? Huang Dahai laughed heartily at Zhou Bui's incompetence and rage. Ha 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 ha, Zhou Bui, don't do this to us, it won't work. Ma Lu, take out the things on your body and let us check them, so that we can finish work and go home early. Of course, if you don't understand, he he, I don't mind using some special means. As he spoke, the three Huang brothers simultaneously condensed several ice picks in front of them, aiming directly at Zhou Bui. Feeling the biting cold emanating from the ice pick, Zhou Bui shuddered subconsciously. He did hide some material that was detrimental to the Liang group, but he didn't take it with him, so he wasn't too panicked. Giving the three brothers a hateful look, Zhou Bui took out something with a look of humiliation on his face. Black iron equipment, bank cards, clothes. All kinds of messy things were placed on the ground one by one. Tisk, it's all rubbish. Huang or he picked through the clutter, and finally only picked up his bank card, and said sanctimoniously. Zhou Bui, I suspect that you have misappropriated funds from the Liang group, so I need you to tell me your password. You, Zhou Bui's nose was so angry that he was crooked. He was not a financial officer, so what kind of funds were he misappropriating? If I misappropriated funds, why would I hire you fools to train me? 
He scolded the three Huang brothers ten thousand times in his heart, but the situation was stronger than others, so Zhou Gui had no choice but to reveal the password unwillingly. Seeing this, Chu Jia finally understood. Although the three brothers are members of the Liang group, the work they do is the same as that of the dungeon robbers, they just change their names to appear legitimate. The Liang group has done so many shameful things. You still have to investigate after leaving your job, tisk tisk. Zhou Bui took out everything on his body, but the three Huang brothers did not find any unfavorable material. On the contrary, under various pretexts, they took away the few valuable things left on Zhou Bui's body. We can go now. Zhou Bui dared not speak out in anger and said bitterly. If he were alone, he might fight tooth and nail with the three Huang brothers. But now that Chu Jia is still around, he can't let Chu Jia get involved. At the very least, we need to take this kind-hearted brother out safely. That's not possible. I suspect that the materials are hidden on brother Chu, so we have to check his things. Huang or he came to Chu Jia's side, pressed his hands on Chu Jia's shoulders, and said sadly. Hey, brother Chu, it's all work, you shouldn't make things difficult for us, right? Zhou Buyi was completely angry when he heard this, and he wanted to fight the three Huang brothers with all his teeth and claws. Huang, it's not easy for my brother to earn some hard-earned money. You even want to rob him. Are you still human? At this moment, Chu Jia took the initiative to raise his hand to stop Zhou Buyi's life-threatening move. Brother Zhou, don't worry. The three Huang brothers are also workers. Let's understand each other. When Huang Dahai heard this, he couldn't help but raise his eyebrows and said with a smile. Hey, you are sensible. Then take out the things quickly. If you dare to hide it secretly, I can't spare you. He he he. Chu Jia smiled slightly and took the initiative to take things out of the backpack space. Clang. A piece of heavy armor fell to the ground, making a crisp sound. The three Huang brothers could tell at a glance that this was a LV-30 bronze heavy armor, and they couldn't help but secretly rejoice, they were catching big fish. Ahem, this piece of heavy armor looks a bit familiar to me. I need to take it back to the company for appraisal. Huang or he pretended to find an excuse and quickly pocketed the heavy armor. When Huang Dahai and Huang Sanxi saw this, they thought to themselves, how slow are you? Chu Jia smiled slightly said nothing, and continued to take out things from his backpack. Clang, clang, kang, three more pieces of bronze equipment fell to the ground, and Huang or he took them for himself again with quick eyes and quick hands. Huang Dahai and Huang Sanxi were a little anxious, so they also came over. Boy, there are too many pieces of equipment that you can't identify. Let us do the rest. Clang, clang, kang. More than a dozen pieces of bronze equipment were smashed to the ground, and there were even several piles of thick banknotes among them. When the three Huang brothers saw this, they were dumbfounded. They thought Chu Jia would be rich, but they didn't expect this kid to be so rich. Sent, sent. The three brothers were so happy that they no longer looked for excuses and started robbing them unceremoniously, like three mad dogs. Seeing this, Zhou Bui's heart plummeted to the bottom, and his eyes were full of despair. Brother, why are you so naive? You don't think that if you give them everything, they can let us leave safely, do you? The more things you take out, the smaller the chance that we can leave safely. In the distance, Zheng Shan saw Chu Jia frantically, throwing coins, and she clenched her teeth in hatred. She had known Chu Jia, who had an ordinary family background and an ordinary background. There is no doubt that Chu Jia will not have so much money. All the money was given to him by the three ladies. But now, these dungeon robbers are all at advantage. This spineless Chu Jia, I know you are weak and your profession is poor, but you can at least deal with it. The robbers gave away all their belongings after just a few words of fear. Are you a man? I'm so angry. I really don't know why the lady likes you, a lazy pig, a coward, and a loser. Zhang Shan couldn't bear it anymore and planned to show up to deal with the three dungeon robbers. At the same time, she severely humiliated Chu Jia and vented her anger. However, as soon as her long and beautiful legs took a step forward, the situation in the field suddenly changed. The scene that suddenly happened in front of him was so shocking that Zheng Shan, a level 105 second level master, was completely dumbfounded. Oh my god, how dare Chu Jia, has he, been acting? 
After Chu Jia threw out a lot of equipment, a simple long sword suddenly appeared in his hand. The long sword is filled with silver light and has a sharp edge, with mysterious patterns winding on it, giving people an indescribable sense of nobility. It is a sword of the realm. Hold the grass. What grade of weapon is this? This kid actually hides this kind of top-notch equipment. Ha ha, I've made a lot of money. I've made a lot of money. When Huang Sanxi saw the domain sword, his eyes burst out with fire, and he stretched out his hand to snatch it. Boy, take it here. This sword belongs to me. Okay, okay, brother Huang, don't worry, I'll give it to you right now. Chu Jia chuckled, and the long sword shook out an afterimage in the air, evading Huang Sang's eyes grasp, and passed it straight towards his chest. PFF, like a knife cutting through tofu, the long sword pierced Huang Sang's eyes heart easily and came out. The bright red blood flowed down the tip of the sword, fell on the hot ground, and turned into streaks of bloody steam. You, Huang Sang's eyes eyes widened and he looked at Chu Jia in disbelief. He never imagined that the ant in front of him would dare to plot against him. The vitality is passing away rapidly, and Huang Sanxi will not rest in peace until death. Hold the grass, brother Chu, what did you just do? Zhou Buyi was so frightened by the sudden scene that he looked at Chu Jia in horror, as if he had seen a ghost. He thought Chu Jia was a coward, but he never expected that he turned out to be a yin bai. All the cowardly behaviors were actually to pave the way for this sword, and he actually let him do it. Less than half a month after changing jobs, he directly killed the job changer at level 45. This can go down in history. I'm just telling you, you dare to come to Fiery Volcano just after changing jobs, how can you be a softie? Brother Chu, I'm here to help you, let's fight them. Zhou Bui felt that the blood in his heart was ignited by Chu Jia. He screamed and rushed to Chu Jia's side, looking at the two Huang brothers opposite him with a desperate attitude. Lao San, Lao San, you speak, Lao San. Huang Dahai and Huang Erhi, who were frantically grabbing equipment, looked at the motionless Huang Sanxi and found it difficult to accept the reality in front of them. They are three LV-45 job transferees. How dare this little kid of 18 or 19 dare to attack them? I'm sorry, maybe it's because the environment here is too hot. My sword was a little restless, so I stabbed him. But don't worry, he has nothing else to do. He is just dead. You can still be brothers in the next life. Chu Jia drew out his long sword, pushed Huang Sang's eyes body in front of the two Huang brothers, and explained apologetically. Brother, you are really brave. You dare to challenge these two brothers at this time. You are worthy of being an old bull who can fight against three. Zhou Buyi secretly gave a thumbs up in his heart. Okay, Chu Jia, I admit that you are no longer a coward, you are even a little smart and handsome. Zheng Shan looked at Chu Jia with sparkling beautiful eyes, her heart beating wildly. Although the three Huang brothers are nothing in his eyes, Chu Jia has just changed his job a few days ago. The career changer who dared to plan a plot against LV-45 also dared to shout provocation afterwards. This courage alone has surpassed 99% of career changers of the same age. Zheng Shan silently raised Chu Jia's failing score to excellent in her heart, and began to think about how to help Chu Jia escape without being discovered. You fool, how dare you kill the third child? How dare you? That's my brother. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. After a brief period of shock, the two Huang brothers finally came to their senses. The eyes of the two of them were about to burst, their eyes were on fire, and they were all furious to the extreme. The magic book in front of you is shaking crazily, and terrifying skills are brewing. They want to kill the two of them immediately and not let them survive for a second in this world. Brother Chu, I'll stop them, you run. Use those boulders as cover and don't look back. Zhou Bui quickly gathered a frost shield in front of him and told Chu Jia to run. The anger of being bullied by the Liang group fully burst out at this moment. Zhou Bui was determined to die. He wanted to fight against these fools from the Liang group. However, Chu Jia did not run away at all. Instead, he stepped forward and charged towards Huang Dahai tit for tat. How brave! How dare you attack me! Come and die! Chu Jia's refusal to retreat but instead advance further angered Huang Dahai. Dozens of ice cones condensed rapidly and struck Chu Jia like a storm. Three consecutive blasts of lightning. 
The phantom-like sword light almost formed a line and collided with the ice pick in an instant. Click, click, click. The sharp ice pick shattered instantly and turned into countless pieces of ice falling to the ground. Before Huang Dahai even realized what was happening, three ferocious bloodlines appeared on his body. Ha, huh, what's going on? A little, itchy. Huang Dahai turned around and wanted to ask his second son, but his huge head rolled directly to the ground. Then his body slipped from his thighs and fell to the ground. Huang Dahai, die, hold the grass, am I blind, what the hell did I see? Chu Jia, he killed Huang Dahai, and cut him into three pieces. Zhou Bui stumbled and fell to the ground. He ignored the pain on his body and looked in Chu Jia's direction with a horrified face. If killing Huang Sanxi was a conspiracy, then just now it was gun versus gun versus cannon. The LV-45 Huang Dahai, the A-level job changer, ice and snow mage, who was galloping around the flaming volcano, actually lost to Chu Jia in a duel. What kind of outrageous plot is this? Zhou Buyi was completely dumbfounded, his head was buzzing, and he felt like his worldview had been greatly impacted. Chu Jia, actually killed the LV-45 job transferee head-on. Even Zheng Shan, who was in her second rank, was so shocked that her pretty face turned red, and her beautiful eyes were full of disbelief. As the backbone of the garrison, what kind of genius has Zheng Shan not seen? But in just one minute, he directly killed two level 45 job changers. She had never seen such a genius. Chu Jia has just changed his job. He is still a child. Isn't this a bit outrageous? Moreover, Chu Jia actually used the swordsman's top skill, three consecutive blows of wind. It doesn't matter if you have a deep understanding of swordsmanship. I can tolerate releasing sword energy, but you can even master the top skills of a swordsman. What the hell is this? Ah, is there anyone in charge of this? Chu Jia is stealing from his master. Originally, Zheng Shan planned to secretly help Chu Jia escape, but now she suddenly realized that it was not necessary. Chu Jia's hidden trump card is simply terrifying. Big, brother, is he dead? Seeing the extremely familiar head rolling in front of him, Huang Ruhi's hair stood on end for a moment, and the skills he was releasing were directly interrupted by panic. My eldest brother is a job changer at level 45. How could you die in the hands of a little kid with just one blow? How is this possible? This is impossible. Huang Ruhi roared hysterically. Huang Dahai's death was so careless and unbelievable that he could not accept the reality at all. Are you really the job changers of LV-45? As a mage, shouldn't you set yourself up with a magic shield before fighting? Chu Jia had a look of disbelief on his face, held a long sword in his hand, and walked slowly towards the Huang Ru River. You, don't come over. Huang Ru he suddenly came to his senses and quickly put on a frost shield for himself. But this cannot bring him the slightest sense of security. Every step Chu Jia took towards him was like a heavy hammer hitting his chest, making him feel suffocated as if death was coming. Huang or he never expected that along the way, this seemingly innocent kid from a rich family would turn out to be so insidious and ruthless. More importantly, how could someone so young have the terrifying power to kill a LV-45 job changer? Chu, did you hear that? You are not allowed to come any closer. Don't force me, otherwise I will fight you to the death. Retreating to the lava river, Huang Ruhi had no way to retreat and screamed at Chu Jia in fear. Ha ha, Xiao Huang, you think too highly of yourself. The fish will die, but the net may not break. Chu Jia smiled coldly, raised his sword in the air, and swung a piercing sword light towards Huang Ruhi. Ah, you forced me, Huang Ruhi roared ferociously, threw a dozen flame crystals directly into the magma river, and ran out of the cave like crazy. Flame crystal is a material dropped after the death of the flame element, which contains rich fire element energy. Just throw it into the lava river to awaken the monster in it. The three Huang brothers originally chose this place as their base not just because it was hidden. More importantly, there is an elite monster lurking in the magma river. If they encounter danger, they can take the initiative to wake up this monster, and then the brothers can escape. Kacha, under Chu Jia's sword light, the frost shield shattered, like paper. Fortunately, Huang Ruhi crushed a skill scroll in time and once again propped up an earth yellow shield. The earthy yellow shield offset most of the power of the sword light and was also shattered. 
but Huang or he also saved his life in the sword light. What a terrifying sword light. No wonder I can kill my elder brother with one sword. If I didn't have this top-notch skill scroll, I would probably have to explain it here. Mad, what kind of monster is this kid? Why is he so terrifying at such a young age? Wait, I remembered, he is. Chu Jia, that Chu Jia who is suspected to be related to the disappearance of Master Liang Jinming. When his life was hanging by a thread, Huang or he suddenly remembered everything. Isn't this suspected to be related? This cliff is related. No, I have to escape. Tell everything to the Liang group. Only in this way can we kill Chu Jia and avenge our eldest brother and third brother. Thinking of this, Huang or he ran out of the cave like crazy. He believed that with the monster's restraint, he could definitely escape from Chu Jia's clutches. Ha, huh, there is actually a top level skill scroll. Chu Jia raised his eyebrows, but he didn't expect Huang or he to have such a life saving trump card. Just when he was about to swing his sword again, the lava river suddenly started rolling. A flaming frog like a truck suddenly jumped out and washed up on the shore. He bit the dozen flame crystals in one bite and chewed them, crunchingly. Flame Giant Frog Elite Level LV 47 Physique 145 Spirit 156 Power 155 Speed 139 Skills Fire Breath Fire Whip Fire Trample Hold the Grass What a big fire toad! Feeling the heat wave hitting his face, Joe Bui couldn't help but shudder. He never expected that there would be a LV-47 elite monster hidden in this magma river. How could they possibly defeat this outrageous attribute? Brother Chu, oh no, Brother Chu, let's run. If you get entangled by this toad, you won't be able to escape for a while. It's important to deal with Huang or he first. If the Liang group learns about what happened today, we will be completely finished. Zhou Buyi yelled at Chu Jia in fear, his legs trembling with fear. Tisk tisk, there is actually an elite monster, that's great. Brother Joe, wait for me for a while. I'll take care of it. Let's go after the Yellow River again. Don't worry, he can't escape. Chu Jia licked his dry lips and smiled at Joe Buyi. No, Brother Chu, my brother. This is not a crispy mage like the three Huang brothers, this is an elemental elite monster. You're a sword playing, field master. Ha, huh, what's weird? It doesn't matter anymore, how do you fight it? Zhou Bui shouted with panic on his face. He was very happy that he didn't die at the hands of the three Huang brothers, but he didn't want to die at the hands of the fire toad. Not to mention the frustration, the ashes were roasted. However, before he could finish his words, Zhou Bui's voice stopped abruptly due to the shocking scene before his eyes. Chu Jia held a long sword in his hand, his body suddenly rose, and he rushed out like a shooting star. In front of the huge body of the giant flame frog, Chu Jia was as small as a baby, but the fierce aura exuding from his body made even this behemoth dare not underestimate him. Quack, the giant flame frog let out a deafening roar, and a long flame tongue stretched out like lightning, heading straight for Chu Jia. Chu Jia dodged easily and struck the ground with his long tongue, exploding a huge deep pit. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Chu Jia stood up from the ground, leapt into the air, and danced the sword in his hand as fast as a dragon drawing water. The long sword stirred the air and made the sound of hunting wind. The sword light all over the sky condensed rapidly in the air, intertwined into a sword energy cage, and headed toward the giant flaming frog like the weight of Mount Tai. Boom boom boom. The sword energy collided with the flames, creating a series of fine explosions that made the entire cave rumble and the magma boil. It began to spit out flames and frantically attacked the sword energy cage, but to no avail. Chu Jia carries the Tiandao sword body, and using his sword energy is like picking up an object from a bag, and he can pick it up at his fingertips. The giant flame frog burns a sword energy, and Chu Jia can condense 10 or 100 sword energy in an instant. The rumbling explosions continued continuously, and the flames on the surface of the giant flame frog were eliminated layer by layer. The body of the giant flame frog begins to shrink visibly to the naked eye. Finally, Chu Jia slashed out with his sword, and his sword energy was like a dragon, directly killing the shrunken flame giant frog. Fire giant frog, die. Kill the giant flame frog elite and gain 1500 experience points. 
kill the giant flame frog elite and obtain the essence of flame. Although it's a little scratchy, we can shave it quickly. Ha ha. Chu Jia watched the giant flaming frog the size of a truck getting smaller and smaller, and finally disappeared without a trace, with a relaxed smile on his lips. Although there is a 12 level difference, this is just an ordinary elite monster after all. The pressure brought to Chu Jia was even less than that of the leader of the split claw lizard. Hold the grass, how big is the flame toad? It can be killed in less than 30 seconds. Zhou Bui stared blankly at the empty magma river, his eyes almost falling out of shock. If the three Wangxi brothers are still crispy mages, then the giant flame frog is a terrifying monster that gives all career changers a headache. Even if this elite monster stands still, I will still have to fight for half an hour. The result is you, 30 seconds. Is this Tama really a new job changer? If he is a new job transfer, then who am I? I cried to death. The gap between people is really bigger than that between people and dogs. An unparalleled sense of inferiority surged into Zhou Bui's heart. Not to mention Zhou Bui was shocked. Even Zheng Shan was so shocked by the scene where Chu Jia killed the giant flame frog that she breathed heavily and could not control herself. As we all know, elemental creatures are the nemesis of those who change careers in the physics department. Even Zheng Shan, who is level 105, will have to put in a lot of effort to face the giant flame frog, which is level 45. Because Zheng Shan simply cannot be as relaxed and freehand as Chu Jia, wielding sword energy. Ah, why can Chu Jia use his sword energy so easily? At level 105, I can barely use a few sword energy, but Chu Jia actually blew it out. Mr. Chu, Master Chu, I want to learn, please teach me. Zheng Shan shouted crazily in her heart. At this moment, she really wanted to sit at a table with Zhang Qianan and worship Chu Jia as her teacher together. It's just that Chu Jia's requirements are a bit high. Obviously, she must become his woman. Well, Chu Jia is so handsome and mysterious, it seems good to be his woman. Isn't it bad to compete with a young lady for a man? Oh, I'm so shy. Invisibly, Zheng Shan's attitude towards Chu Jia has undergone earth-shaking changes. Brother Zhou, please go through the things on these two people, and I will deal with Huang or he. Chu Jia gave an order to Zhou Bui, tapped his toes, and chased towards Huang or he like a ghost. Oh oh, good, good. Zhou Bui replied nonchalantly. After a while, he came back to his senses with surprise and started touching the corpse happily. Oh my god, I have met a noble person. Sure enough, people should do more good deeds. If they do too many bad deeds, they will be punished sooner or later. Huang or he ran wildly all the way, at a life or death speed, and did not dare to look back even once. But through the continuous explosions, he could also imagine how tragic the battle was. I think back then, my eldest brother, my third brother, and I spent half an hour grinding the giant flame frog to death. This kid Chu Jia is definitely no match for the giant flame frog. It's best to burn Chu Jia to ashes directly, so that he can die without a complete body, so that he can relieve his anger. Huang or he gritted his teeth in thought, and finally rushed out of the cave. Only then did he have time to look back. However, it doesn't matter if you don't look at him, he is so scared that he loses his soul. Chu Jia didn't know what method he used to grind the giant flame frog the size of a truck down to the size of a bucket. Finally, he slashed out with his sword, turning the giant flaming frog into nothing. Oh my god, what kind of monster is this Chu Jia? That's a LV-47 elite monster. I just ran out of the cave, and you just killed me. No, run, I've met a pervert. Huang or He's face was earth-colored, and his soul was gone. He turned around and was about to continue running away, but a bolt of sword light struck him like a thunderbolt, directly cutting off his legs. Ah, my legs, my legs, Huang or He let out a shrill howl, and blood flowed from his body. Chu Jia, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I know that you have a grudge against the Liang group. I can help you report the Liang group. I have a lot of evidence. Seeing Chu Jia rushing towards him at great speed, a fear of death instantly enveloped his heart. Huang or he couldn't care less about the pain under his body and desperately begged Chu Jia for mercy. Hey, you know quite a lot. An expression of surprise appeared on Chu Jia's face, and with a flash of sword light, Huang or he's life was taken away. 
Chu Jia will naturally not let them continue to cause harm to society as they are the scoundrels of the Liang group. Moreover, among the three brothers, Chu Jia hated Huang or he the most. One thing openly and another behind the scenes, both should be doomed. From Huang or he, Chu Jia got back his own things, as well as Xiao 200,000 materials and equipment. At the same time, Chu Jia also discovered a lot of unfavorable material about the Liang group. I don't know if the three Huang brothers got it from other resigned personnel, or if they deliberately hid it themselves. Chu Jia guessed that it was probably the latter. Back by the Magma River, Zhou Bui had already finished touching the body. He only took away his own things, and all other trophies were placed on the ground in categories. Brother Chu, these are the things they have on them, please take a look. Zhou Bui spoke cautiously. After seeing Chu Jia's terrifying strength, how dare Zhou Bui dare to be so presumptuous in front of him? This is not only my savior, but also a man of extraordinary talent. Brother Zhou, don't be so cautious, just be the same as before. Chu Jia had a wry smile on his face. It seemed that he had just shown his strength and scared Zhou Bui. Really, if I said something wrong, wouldn't you chop me up too? Zhou Bui swallowed hard and asked with some expectation and some fear. Brother Zhou, who do you think I am? You killed the three Huang brothers because they deserved it. Their behavior is no different from that of dungeon robbers. Killing them is to eliminate harm for the people. Chu Jia explained in a dumbfounded manner, and at the same time added. But you'd better keep this matter to yourself. After all, they are members of the Liang group, and they obviously did these things with the tacit approval of the Liang group. Zhou Buyi breathed a long sigh of relief after hearing this. He was not a serious person to begin with, but when he heard Chu Jia say this, he suddenly jumped out of his mind. Brother, don't worry, I understand. But you are so awesome. The heifer rides on a rocket, you are so awesome. This time, you saved my life. If I need you in the future, I will go up to the mountains of swords and into the seas of fire without any hesitation. Next, Chu Jia got his things back and distributed the other spoils to Zhou Bui. With his current net worth of millions, he really doesn't like the things on the two copy robbers. But for Zhou Bui, this is overwhelming wealth. Ah, give them all to me. Brother Chu, you are too generous, I don't even know how to thank you. How about I accept you as my adoptive father? Zhou Bui was moved to tears and overjoyed. As a, frost mage, he can use all the equipment on the Huang brothers. These resources are enough for him to reach LV50. Who would have thought that he, a pauper with only 3,000 yuan left, would be well off in a blink of an eye? This is all Chu Jia's contribution. Praise Chu Jia. Praise the adoptive father. Ah, brother Zhou, there's no need for that. Chu Jia's mouth twitched and he waved his hands repeatedly. The duplicate ticket you gave me was also a big help. I was just reciprocating it as a courtesy. As the saying goes, there are icings on the cake everywhere, but there is no such thing as help in times of need. Even a faint beam of light in the darkness will be engraved in people's hearts and never forgotten. Seeing what Chu Jia said, Zhou Bui didn't force it anymore, but decided in his heart that he would do one good deed every day from now on. After collecting the trophies, he asked, Brother Chu, what should we do next? Chu Jia glanced at the magma river and said thoughtfully, there should be more than one giant flame frog in this magma river. Since we want to upgrade, let's simply clean out the giant flame frog first. Gudong. Zhou Bui swallowed excitedly after hearing this. Clean the giant flame frog. He really said the harshest words in the calmest tone. Even if a LV-50 team is here, you wouldn't dare to say it so lightly, right? But at this moment, Zhou Bui didn't have the slightest doubt. Because Chu Jia is a ruthless person who can kill the giant flame frog in 30 seconds. Brother, you just kill randomly, I'll do my best. So, Chu Jia asked Zhou Buyi to step aside. He followed Huang or He's example, took out more than a dozen flame crystals, and threw them directly into the magma river. Fortunately, the three Huang brothers had enough flame crystals on their bodies, so he didn't have to worry about not having enough bait. If it was as Chu Jia had guessed, not long after the flame crystal was thrown down, the magma began to boil. A giant flame frog leapt onto the shore with a flame crystal in its mouth. Chu Jia, who had the experience of killing once, became more proficient in using his hands again. 
When the long sword was swung, the sword energy spanned 80,000 miles and directly imprisoned the giant flame frog. The terrifying sword energy continued to tear at the flames on the body of the giant flame frog, and the continuous explosions caused the magma to roll. The entire shore was devastated by blasts and was full of potholes. Kill the giant flame frog elite and gain 1500 experience points. This time, it only took 20 seconds to scrape the giant flame frog to death. Next, Chu Jia followed the same method, setting the bait, pulling the hook, and co. The whole process looks so silky smooth, like eating dove. Zhou Buyi was at the rear, screaming so excitedly that his voice was hoarse. Before, he thought the three Huang brothers were very powerful at killing a fire elemental in five minutes. Compared with Chu Jia, Chun Chun is a younger brother. 20 seconds to clear the giant flame frog, just ask who else. Zhang Shan was lying behind a huge boulder, watching Chu Jia's magnificent moves with sword energy, and was equally excited. Her beautiful jewel-like eyes were unblinking, staring at Chu Jia's every move, trying to discover Chu Jia's secrets. However, nothing was found. Chu Jia's every move is so arbitrary and uninhibited, but he always inspires pure and incomparable sword energy. It was so unreasonable that it almost made Zheng Shan cry. Kill the giant flame frog elite and gain 1500 experience points. Kill the giant flame frog elite and gain 1500 experience points. 15 minutes later, Chu Jia killed a giant flame frog and threw flame crystals into the magma river. The magma river had no reaction. It seems that they have all been killed. I don't know when the next refresh will be. Chu Jia murmured to himself and took a look at the level. He had reached LV 36. As the level increases, the experience required for upgrading will also increase. It takes 15 minutes to level up, which is quite fast. Brother, what are we doing down there? Zhou Buyi ran over with a look of ecstasy on his face. In just 15 minutes, his level broke through LV 36, catching up to LV 37. He had only experienced this kind of flying upgrade speed when he just changed jobs. So cool, so cool. Go and have a look upstream of the Magma River. This kind of wild scenery is rare. Chu Jia looked at the Magma River with a smile. The fiery red magma gurgled like blood, and the source was a hot dark red, as if connected to hell, which made people fearful and curious. Ah, what's so interesting about this lava? Oh, I understand, brother, you are planning to go find the boss. But there's no way we can get through this. Zhou Buyi was not a fool and quickly guessed Chu Jia's true intention. But the cave tunnels and lava rivers they walked along the way intersected in a, t, shape, and there was no way upstream. If you want to get through, it seems you can only climb along the cave wall. But this is too dangerous. I have a way. If you hold this long sword, it will take us there. Chu Jia grabbed it in the air, pulled out a long sword like magic, and handed it to Zhou Buyi. Zhou Buyi took the sword in confusion, with question marks on his face. This sword is simple and elegant, and it is no ordinary weapon at first glance. For some reason, he couldn't view its properties. But, how can a sword carry me across the magma river? Is it possible that it can still fly? Zhou Buyi thought wildly and couldn't help but be amused by his own thoughts. The next moment, the sword of the realm flashed with silver light, went straight into the sky, and floated quietly on the top of the cave. Ah, oh my god, it's flying, it can really fly. Zhou Buyi let out a scream, holding onto the domain sword like a koala, frightened out of his mind. Brother, hurry up, let's go. Chu Jia chuckled and threw the long sword in his hand. The long sword automatically flew to Chu Jia's feet, taking him slowly into the air and up the magma river. Oh no, wait, brother. Is this sword of yours oil burning or rechargeable? Is there an annual inspection? It won't break down on the road, right? Brother, brother, foster father, please reply, I'm afraid. Woohoo. Looking at the red lava beneath him, Zhou Buyi's heart was pounding and he was so scared that he almost cried. On the other side, Zheng Shan, who had been observing secretly, was even dumbfounded. Oh my god, what did I see? The art of sword control. It's really the art of sword control. Isn't this the fourth level skill of a swordsman? Zheng Shan felt like her head was buzzing. The scene in front of her was so shocking that she lost her ability to think. 
If Chu Jia could use powerful sword energy to fight against the enemy, she could barely accept it. Chu Jia had just changed his job and was able to fly with a sword, which completely overturned Zheng Shan's worldview. No, I don't even know how to control a sword. How could you do it? Ah, Chu Jia, you have to have a limit when it's outrageous. At this moment, Zheng Shan finally understood why the three ladies gathered around Chu Jia like bees. Not to mention the three young and ignorant young ladies, even she, a level 105 mature woman, could not help being attracted to Chu Jia at this moment. Chu Jia is so powerful, so mysterious, it was like a magnet full of magnetism, which made Zheng Shan, who was originally scornful, couldn't help but want to get closer, explore, strip naked, and see through everything about him. Without any time to think about it, Zheng Shan followed quickly with her heart beating wildly. With her level 105 strength, she can easily cling to the cave wall. She wanted to see how many secrets this Chu Jia hid. Ha, huh, man, you successfully aroused my curiosity. Chu Jia stood on the flying sword and flew slowly, admiring the scenery of the Magma River with great interest. Finding the boss is indeed his purpose, but appreciating this wild scenery is also his fun. After flying like this for who knows how long, the narrow river suddenly widened, and a magma lake appeared in front of them. The rolling red magma kept bubbling, and from time to time, dark red flames flashed across the lake. The bottomless magma flows slowly, and the hot and oppressive feeling makes people wonder whether there is some ancient beast lurking underground. I didn't expect that there is such a cave inside the fiery volcano. Chu Jia looked around and was deeply shocked by the scenery in front of him. There are no more rivers around the magma lake. It seems that the boss should be in this lake. Zhou Buyi was also deeply shocked by this fiery scene, and even his fear was temporarily suppressed. Wow, this is so cool. If it weren't for Chu Jia, Zhou Buyi would never have had the chance to see such stunning beauty in his life. Not to mention him, even the 1v50 and 1v60 job changers may not be able to meet him. After all, if you want to get here, you have to fly. I'll take a few photos so I can slap Lemon in the face when I'm bragging. Ha <laughs> ha. Zhou Bui firmly grasped the hilt of the sword with one hand, and carefully took out his mobile phone with the other hand. Just when I was about to take a photo, the lava lake suddenly started churning, and a terrifying fire element monster broke through the lake surface and rushed out. This monster consists of two flames, one small and one large. There are three dark holes on the small flame, which look like eyes and mouth. There are two flame arms on both sides of the big ball of flame, and a huge flame sword is firmly held in his hand. The fire element monster was just floating in the center of the lake, its dark eyes staring at Chu Jia and Zhou Buyi, full of hostility. Magma Balrog, Boss, Level, 1v50, Physique, 180, Spirit, 185, Power, 179, Speed, 189, Skills, Magma Restoration, Magma Breath, Exploding Magma, Flame Slash. The sudden appearance of the Magma Balrog made Zhou Bui tremble so frightened that he almost dropped his cell phone into the lava. After seeing the panel of Magma Balrog clearly, he couldn't help but shuddered again and exclaimed. What the hell, how can I fight like this? Even if the attributes are so unbelievable, this, Magma Recovery, skill is simply a bug in this Magma Lake. Magma Recovery. Passive Skill. After being injured, Dive into the magma and absorb the power of the flames in the magma for treatment. The higher the concentration of the magma, the faster the treatment. Tisk, tisk, it's actually the boss, the magma flame demon. There's no hope, Chu Jia can't beat him. Zheng Shan lay on the top of the cave wall and saw the magma demon from a distance, and immediately gave Chu Jia a failure verdict in her heart. At level 105, I have no chance of defeating the magma balrog in a terrain like a magma lake. Not to mention Chu Jia. The only way to kill the magma balrog is to have the ice mage freeze the lake surface after injuring it, preventing the magma balrog from getting into the magma for treatment. Then take advantage of the short gap to completely kill the magma balrog. Obviously, the frost mage next to Chu Jia does not have this strength. Brother Chu, we've seen the scenery and seen the boss. Let's retreat. The boss's skills are too abnormal. In this magma lake, it is immortal and cannot be defeated. In order to take care of Chu Jia's face, Zhou Buyi took the initiative to help Chu Jia find the steps. 
In his opinion, Chu Jia would hesitate for a while, then turn around and leave. After all, after fighting the boss for a long time, his health would be full immediately after taking a bath. Just thinking about it makes me feel weak. However, Chu Jia held his chin and thought for a moment, then shook his head with a smile. Brother Joe, we are already at the door of our house. If we don't have a fight, I won't be willing to do it. You can just watch from the lakeside, and I'll fight the boss. Hearing this, Zhou Buyi was a little helpless, but also a little admired. Knowing clearly that there are tigers in the mountains, we prefer to go to the tiger mountains. He felt that he was far inferior to this kind of fearless spirit. Okay, then be careful. Zhou Buyi nodded and put a frost shield on Chu Jia that was better than nothing. The magma flame demon seemed to understand Chu Jia's thoughts, and let out a roar from its big black mouth. The flaming sword danced wildly, and three wave-like slashes stirred up the magma, surging forward. Well done. Chu Jia laughed, held his hand in the air, and a domain sword appeared in his hand. Three consecutive blasts of lightning. The sword intent surged, and three terrifying sword lights that were not inferior to the flame slash split the magma and collided with the flame slash. Boom! A deafening explosion echoed in the cave, a 10-meter high wave was set off in the magma lake, and flames were flying all over the sky. At this moment, the magma fire demon broke through the huge waves, raised his sword high, and slashed fiercely at Chu Jia. Before he could reach his body, the scorching waves of air pressed over him like an overwhelming force. Faced with such terrifying power, Chu Jia was not afraid. He stepped on the flying sword, and the sword edge broke through the air waves, and charged forward tit for tat. Whoa! The two dispersed at the touch of a dragonfly, and Zhou Buyi, who was so fast, didn't even see what happened. The next moment, a white sword mark appeared on the shoulder of the magma balrog, and the thick flame arm and the flame sword slid down together and were submerged in the magma. On the other hand, Chu Jia was still free and elegant, without any harm. Hold the grass, so handsome, on the surface of the magma lake, two swords compete. The scene was so shocking that Zhou Buyi, the frost mage, couldn't help but feel excited. What's even more shocking is that the boss's arm was severed by a sword, but Chu Jia was unharmed. Facing the terrifying boss like the magma flame demon, Chu Jia actually showed a crushing advantage. Roar! A flash of disbelief flashed in the eyes of the magma fire demon, and he didn't understand why his attack had no effect at all. Chu Jia smiled slightly and murmured, Sorry, the flame sword is also a sword. Immediately afterwards, Chu Jia took advantage of the victory to pursue him. Two thunderbolts of sword light opened the way in front of him. He used his sword to volley in the air and attacked again. With his arms broken and his weapons gone, the magma fire demon dared to continue to fight hard. He shortened his stature and dived directly into the magma. Bang bang, two sword lights slashed at the cave wall, cutting two deep sword marks, and the entire cave continued to shake. The magma balrog emerged from the edge of the magma lake again, its broken arm was intact as before, and the flaming sword was again held in its hand. Tisk, tisk, it seems that the method of accumulating damage and killing with the final blow won't work. As long as he is hurt, the boss will dive into the magma for treatment, which is really a coward. If you want to kill it, you must prevent it from entering the magma. Chu Jia looked at the magma flame demon, the light in his eyes flowing thoughtfully. Suddenly, he had an idea and a smile appeared on his lips. Yes, I am a field master. Isn't the domain the most direct way to change the terrain? Zheng Shan, who was watching the battle carefully, was surprised that Chu Jia cut off the boss's arm with one blow, but she knew it was meaningless. Sure enough, the magma balrog took a dive, and not only did his arms grow back, but his sword also came back. It's not that Chu Jia is weak, it's that the magma flame demon is too strong. I think he would have given up on it. Ha, huh, he's smiling, he's smiling pretty handsomely. Oh no, how can he still laugh? A flash of surprise and confusion flashed in Zheng Shan's beautiful eyes. In her opinion, this is a dead end with no solution. Does Chu Jia still have any trump card to break the situation? Brother Balrog, let's continue fencing. Chu Jia let out a long roar, and the sword light was like a dragon, dragging out a silver trajectory and killing the magma demon again. Roar! The magma flame demon hated the broken arm, roared angrily, and attacked Chu Jia crazily. 
Before he could reach his body, a stream of magma as thick as a bucket erupted from his mouth. The hot flames distorted the air and roared. Chu Jia did not dodge or dodge, the silver light of the sword of the domain shined brightly, directly tearing through the magma fire pillar like a knife cutting through tofu, and slashed at the magma fire demon with unabated force. At the end of the flame pillar, a flash of anthropomorphic contempt flashed across the face of the magma flame demon, and the flaming sword he held high struck down hard. The first time it was careless, this time it struck with all its strength. See how this little human can resist. The flaming sword seemed to be of great weight. When the blade passed by, the air was ignited, forming a fiery trajectory. However, just when it was about to hit Chu Jia, the flaming sword suddenly deflected and hit the magma lake hard. The magma lake was torn in half, and the surging magma rushed straight to the top of the cave, reaching a height of more than 10 meters. The magma fire demon was stunned. Cut. Dot cut crookedly. Before it could understand what was happening, three extremely sharp sword lights had cut its body into four sections. The dead souls of the magma fire demon are emerging. Although it is an elemental body, cutting it into several pieces will not kill it, but the cold sword energy caused substantial damage to it. The magma fire demon retreated violently, reorganized its body in the air, and was about to dive into the magma lake to treat its injuries. Chu Jia looked at this scene with a smile and murmured. The domain of swords chaotic sword mountain. In an instant, the terrifying sword and tent descended like nine heavens, covering this place. The entire magma lake seemed to be frozen for thousands of miles, covered by dense long swords. The long swords are intertwined and perfectly connected, forming a majestic and vast sword domain platform. Even the endless river of magma, Chu Jia did not let go, not giving the magma fire demon a chance to escape. Bang! The magma fire demon grabbed the ground with his head and was so dizzy that he couldn't tell where he was for a while. What's going on? Where did this sword come from? Zhou Buyi originally thought that the magma fire demon would escape into the magma and return shamelessly full of blood. Unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, the fiery red magma lake was directly covered by countless long swords. Zhou Buyi thought he was dazzled and rubbed his eyes crazily, but the scene before him remained unchanged and still shocking. Wait, this scene looks familiar. I seem to have seen it before. Could it be? Could it be? Is it that man? Zhou Buyi's eyes widened and his heartbeat seemed to have stopped. He couldn't believe his guess. Zheng Shan felt the turbulent sword intent emitted by countless long swords, her face flushed, her heart was ups and downs, and the waves were turbulent. No wonder the ladies would ask Chu Jia for sword skills. No wonder they admire Chu Jia so much. Sword immortal. Sword immortal. Sword immortal. As an elite of the town guard, she had also participated in the investigation of the sword immortal. However, that sword immortal was like a real banished immortal. When he came, he swallowed up the mountains and rivers, and when he left, there was no trace or a clue. He never expected that the sword immortal he had longed for would be right in front of him. Chu Jia, he is actually the sword immortal. Zheng Shan's eyes were blurred as she stared at Chu Jia, her heart beating like a drum, and she was extremely excited. After failing to return to the magma, the magma Balrog was very angry. However, when it saw that the entire magma lake was no longer red, it panicked. The lower body suddenly heats up, emitting a dazzling light like an electric light, burning the sword under him crazily. If it were an ordinary long sword, it would probably break and be damaged in a few breaths under such scorching heat. But what it faces is the sword of the domain. No matter how the magma flames burned, the domain sword didn't even show a trace of redness. Don't waste your efforts, you can't break through my realm with your strength. Chu Jia flew his sword in the air, and the surging sword intent surged on the blade, turning into several bright sword lights and heading towards the magma flame demon. The magma fire demon looked horrified and hurriedly waved his flaming sword to resist. Chu Jia's sword energy is already extremely powerful. With the blessing of the domain, its power has reached a higher level. How can it be easily blocked by it? The flaming sword was directly smashed into pieces by the sword energy, causing a shocking explosion. The magma fire demon flew out from the explosion and looked at Chu Jia in horror. Half of its strength comes from itself and half from the magma lake. The magma lake is sealed, and it will undoubtedly fall into an absolute disadvantage. Roar! The magma flame demon roared angrily, 
its body suddenly expanded, and its thick flaming giant arms wildly bombarded the long sword under him. Burst lava. With the help of its own induction with magma, the entire magma lake rioted crazily. The surging magma is like a heavy hammer, constantly hitting the high platform of sword domain, making a loud noise that shakes the earth. The entire high platform began to shake, like a boat in the huge waves, and some magma seeped out from the gap in the sword. As expected of a hidden boss, even though he has been demoted, he is still so difficult to deal with. Chu Jia snorted coldly, jumped off his sword, and stepped on the high platform of the sword domain. Town. Following Chu Jia's low roar, countless long swords appeared again under the high platform of sword domain. Layer by layer, they form an upside-down mountain. Before, Chu Jia only released a little power of the domain. At this moment, the power is doubled. A wave can capsize a small boat, but it cannot shake a mountain. The swaying sword realm platform stabilized again in an instant. No matter how hard the magma fire demon attacks it, it will be like an earthworm shaking a tree, and it will not make any more waves. Okay, it's time to end. Chu Jia looked at the magma flame demon, a cold light flashed in his eyes. He held the long sword in his hand, and the terrifying sword intent, as deep as the abyss and the sea, was applied to his body, and condensed into a sword that looked like a substantial sword energy outside the long sword. Cut, with a sword outstretched, the sword chi was like a dragon swimming out of the sea, tearing the air and striking towards the magma flame demon. The swords screamed, the cave trembled, and the lava demon was instantly swallowed up. Boom, the magma fire demon exploded directly, and the spilled energy was completely trapped by the sword. Viewed from a distance, the sword turned fiery red in an instant, like a bright lantern. Kill the magma fire demon, boss, and gain 15,000 experience points. The experience limit has been reached, and the level has been raised to level 37. Dead, a LV-50 magma fire demon, just like that. Zhou Buyi looked at the sword that stretched across the entire lake, and he was shocked to the extreme. This is the immortal magma fire demon. When a LV-60 job changer sees this, he has to shake his head and give in. In front of Chu Jia, he was beaten repeatedly like a drowned dog, with no power to fight back. You can't go wrong. Chu Jia is definitely the swordsman who stirred up the entire Dongsheng city. Is this the sword immortal? More handsome than the one in the video. Stronger. Ah, I can't breathe. Zheng Shan's beautiful eyes were shining again and again, and she looked at Chu Jia with admiration, her heart beating like a deer. As a shadow blade swordsman, she could clearly feel the sword intent rushing around her converging on Chu Jia. All the long swords are bowing to Chu Jia, as if worshipping the master of ten thousand swords. Even she herself had the urge to submit to Chu Jia and let him drive her. The power of the sword immortal is so terrifying. It is so terrifying. Kill the magma fire demon, boss, and obtain the flame robe, silver. Kill the magma fire demon, boss, and obtain the lava sword, silver. Kill the magma fire demon, boss, and obtain the skill book red flame pillar, top level first level. Tisk, tisk, priest robe, big sword, skill book, these three trophies are just enough to give to Xiao Xiao, Kianan and Yaya. I think they will be very happy to receive the gifts. Chu Jia took a look at the trophies and found that there was nothing he needed, so he decided to give them to the three girls. Chu Jia felt a little embarrassed after receiving so much care from the three women during this period. These trophies could just be used as a return gift. Turning his head, Chu Jia came to Zhou Buyi and said with a smile. This magma fire demon is really powerful. If I didn't have some trump cards, I really wouldn't be able to solve it. Less than half a month after changing jobs, you directly killed the LV-50 boss. Do you call this a trump card? Zhou Buyi's mouth twitched, he took a few deep breaths, managed to calm down, and then spoke with difficulty. Brother, I really didn't expect that you would be the sword fairy that is hotly discussed on the internet. Chu Jia smiled and waved his hand. What a swordsman, I'm just an ordinary domain master. Seeing that Chu Jia was so gentle, humble, and without a trace of arrogance, Zhou Buyi was completely impressed. At this age and with this kind of strength, if it were him, his tail would be raised to the sky. Stop saying anything, brother, just sign your name for me. If I can be upgraded by the sword immortal, I will be successful in this life. Chu Jia nodded. Naturally he would not refuse such a small request, 
No problem, where to sign? Zhou Buyi turned around, lifted up the mage's robe, revealing his thin back, and said loudly and forcefully. Come, sign it on my back and use your sword. When my sons ask about it in the future, I will tell them that it was cut by the sword fairy. Ha ha, it's awesome just thinking about it. The corners of Chu Jia's eyes twitched. Brother, your brain circuit is too abstract, isn't it? In the end, Chu Jia still refused to carve words on Zhou Buyi's back. Instead, he took out the duplicate ticket given to him by Zhou Buyi and wrote his name and message on it with a pen. Giving roses to others leaves a lingering fragrance in your hands. I wish brother Zhou a smooth life and a bright future, Chu Jia. The duplicate ticket is the beginning of the fate between the two, and the signature is more memorable. Zhou Buyi held the ticket as if he had found a treasure and carefully collected it. He believes that with the potential shown by Chu Jia, he will be like a tiger or a dragon in the future, and his name will be heard throughout the world. And at that time, this ordinary ticket will be priceless. Brother, what are we going to do next? Zhou Buyi looked at Chu Jia expectantly. Being with Chu Jia was like taking an adventure every second, which made Zhou Buyi's chilled blood boil again. Chu Jia did not answer directly, but removed part of the flying sword, revealing the magma lake below, and asked. Brother, what do you think this lava lake looks like? Zhou Buyi was confused for a moment and didn't understand what Chu Jia meant. He replied calmly, like, like a lake. Ha ha, do you think it looks like a big pot? Hey, when you put it like that, it really looks like a hot pot. The magma is like a pot of red oil. Zhou Buyi smiled and nodded, then suddenly realized something and looked at Chu Jia in surprise. Zhou Sao, brother, are you planning to eat hot pot here? Although it sounds exciting, the magma must be thousands of degrees hot, right? Put the hot pot in, it will melt in a second. Chu Jia waved his hands indifferently and said confidently, Ordinary hot pot won't work, but my sword will. As he spoke, Chu Jia thought, and dozens of flying swords flew up into the air, intertwining with each other to form a perfect, long sword hot pot. Put it in magma, and no trace of magma can penetrate. Hold the grass, this is so handsome. Zhou Buyi looked at this hot pot made of long swords, his eyes were shining, and he felt inexplicably handsome. Unexpectedly, Chu Jia solved this almost impossible problem easily. Immediately afterwards, Zhou Buyi couldn't wait to get food out. Eating hot pot on a lava lake is so cool just thinking about it. Meat slices, vegetables, purified water, seasonings, were neatly placed aside. Chu Jia and Zhou Buyi didn't bring much food, but the three Huang brothers had a lot of ingredients, which was enough for them to show off their hot pot. Soon, the hot pot began to boil, and Chu Jia and Zhou Buyi began to put food into the hot pot. Not long after, the mouth-watering aroma slowly spread and enveloped the entire magma lake. Chu Jia picked up a piece of beef and put it into his mouth. The aroma exploded in his mouth, making him hum. I don't know if it was the blessing of the magma lake, but Chu Jia felt extra delicious. Zhou Buyi picked up a piece of vegetable impatiently and put it into his mouth. Ouch, so, delicious. Although he screamed from being burned, Zhou Buyi still gave a thumbs up. Mad, it feels so good, it feels so good, eating hot pot on a magma lake, just ask how many people in the world can have such a treat. Brother, I really took advantage of you. The most right thing I did in my life was to give you a few tickets. Ha <laughs> ha. On the other side, Zheng Shan was lying on the cave wall, smelling the alluring aroma, and almost cried. I watch when others are eating, and when others are sitting, I am cat-catting. Ah. What a hard life I've been living. I really want to go there and eat together. Eating hot pot on lava, even a woman like me thinks it's extremely cool. If I can eat like this once, I'll probably never forget it in my life. Alas, it's a pity. Zheng Shan looked straight at Chu Jia, extremely envious, but she also knew that she was a member of the town guard and she was working now. She could only miss this rare opportunity. However, at this moment, a familiar voice suddenly sounded in her ears. Butler Zhang, let's have something to eat together. Chapter 51 Hey, it made me hallucinate. Hearing the voice in her ear, Zheng Shan shook her head and smiled bitterly. She is a level 105 shadow blade swordsman. Her professional characteristics are towards assassin and she is proficient in stealth. How could Chu Jia find her? However, 
The next moment, another invitation came. Steward Zhang, do you really want to eat something? Zhang Shan's delicate body trembled and she looked at Chu Jia in astonishment. Chu Jia was seen looking in the direction of the magma river, with a smile that dazzled all women, and his eyes directly collided with his own. There seemed to be sparks flickering in the air. Ah! Zhang Shan exclaimed, her cheeks turned red and she almost fell off the cave wall. How is it possible? Chu Jia actually discovered me. Did he already know that I was following him? Could it be that? My soliloquy has been heard by him a long time ago. Ah, my attitude towards him was not good before, but now he has heard my thoughts again, and my impression in his mind is completely over. Thinking of this, Zheng Shansheng walked out of the magma river helplessly, feeling so aggrieved that she could cry at any time. However, in fact, Chu Jia just discovered Zheng Shan. In order to block the magma fire demon, Chu Jia expanded his territory to the magma river. Just now, he casually observed with his field vision, and unexpectedly discovered Zheng Shan, who was well hidden. Oh my god, why is there someone hiding here? Zhou Buyi was startled by the sudden appearance of Zheng Shan, but was soon shocked by her beautiful face and couldn't close his mouth. She has a hot figure, strong momentum, and heroic appearance, which is completely different from those weak girls. But the corners of her eyes were slightly red, with a hint of grievance, and a contrasting beauty of strength and pity. Is this one of the three rich women that Brother Chu serves? Sure enough, with Brother Chu's strength, the rich woman he found is also a rich woman like a flower, unlike me before, hey. Seeing Zhang Shan approaching, Zhou Buyi quickly moved his buttocks and made room for him next to Chu Jia. Brother and sister, oh no, sister-in-law. Sit, sit, sit. Hearing this, Zheng Shan's cheeks suddenly turned red and she explained hesitantly. No, no, I'm not. Knowing that Zhou Buyi had misunderstood, Chu Jia coughed twice and explained. Brother Zhou, this is my butler. Zhou Buyi smiled at Chu Jia and said meaningfully. Hey, I understand, I understand. As for role-playing, I've done it before, but I was a butler. Chu Jia, Zheng Shan, seeing Zhou Buyi's determined look, Chu Jia was too lazy to say anything else and took out a pair of chopsticks and handed them to Zheng Shan. Come on, let's eat. Zheng Shan took the chopsticks and looked at Chu Jia blankly, surprised that he was so calm. Chu Jia, you, don't you have anything to ask me? For example, why am I here? Ha, huh, aren't you just here to protect me? In fact, you can tell me directly. Chu Jia said casually while holding the dishes. In his opinion, Zheng Shan was an elite member of the garrison and would not harm him. The only explanation was to protect his own safety. Hearing Chu Jia's words, Zheng Shan felt a sharp pain in her chest, and she felt so guilty that she couldn't breathe. I obviously have such a bad attitude towards him, yet he still thinks so well of me. But I'm here to follow him today, to protect him or something, I almost never thought about it. Zheng Shan, Zheng Shan, you really deserve to die. After a brief hesitation, Zheng Shan's beautiful eyes narrowed and she made up her mind. Guardian, I'm sorry, I'm going to surrender to the enemy. It's not that I'm disloyal, it's just that Chu Jia is so charming. I can't deceive my true heart. After thinking clearly, Zheng Shan looked at Zhou Buyi aside, with a cold light, and said coldly. You, wait and go. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Zhou Buyi was still waiting to eat the melon. He felt an inexplicable tightness in his chest, as if his throat was being strangled, and he almost died of fright. You too, chat slowly, I'm full. Without saying a word, he ran directly to the edge of the cave and squatted down, holding his head, blindfolding his eyes, and covering his ears. He did not speak, look, or listen. Seeing that Zhou Buyi was so understanding, Zheng Shan nodded with satisfaction and looked at Chu Jia, her cold eyes suddenly became as soft as moonlight. Chu Jia, this is what happened. Zheng Shan lightly opened her red lips and told Chu Jia the whole story, leaving no trace of her underwear to guard Zhang Yanqing's betrayal. After saying that, Zheng Shan felt relieved inside. She closed her eyes slightly and bit her red lips, waiting for Chu Jia's anger and scolding. Chu Jia couldn't help but laugh when he saw Zheng Shan's eyes slightly closed, as if she was at your mercy. You are obviously several years older than me, why do you act like a little girl? 
Chu Jia couldn't hold back and gently pinched Zhang Shan's face, which was as thin as gelatin. It felt smooth and comfortable. Zhang Shan opened her eyes, saw Chu Jia's bright and sunny smile, felt the warmth of his fingers, and her cheeks couldn't help but blush. Aren't you angry? I'm following you and drugging you. Chu Jia chuckled. Aren't you also fulfilling the guard's order? Actually, even if you don't do this, I will show everything about myself in the college entrance examination tomorrow. The guard is a little anxious. Although he was slightly unhappy about being drugged, it was not malicious and Chu Jia didn't care too much. He told Zhang Shan about his plans, but omitted the grievances with the Liang group. When Zhang Shan heard this, she didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but she was very happy. Without the guard's order, she would not have known Chu Jia's secret first, and she would not have had the opportunity to be alone with Chu Jia at such a close distance. Enjoy exciting hot pot on this fiery lava lake with a top genius. This is simply the most unforgettable memory of Zheng Shan's life. Next, the two enjoyed the lava hot pot and chatted happily. After her attitude changed, Zheng Shan discovered that Chu Jia knew a lot, not only professional knowledge, but also a lot of interesting and imaginative content. What a super charming man. And Chu Jia also discovered that Zheng Shan looked a little cold on the outside, but she was actually hot inside. She is a completely sultry girl, which is very different from her appearance. After the meal, the host and guest enjoyed themselves. Zheng Shan also took a lot of photos, all of which she treasured happily. Chu Jia really didn't expect that Zheng Shan would be so good at taking pictures and know so many poses. It wasn't until the two of them had finished having fun that they suddenly remembered that they seemed to have left Zhou Buyi alone for too long. Brother Zhou, I'm sorry, I was so happy chatting that I forgot about you. It's okay, it's okay, I'm a hero, I understand, I understand. Ha ha, let's go, brother, let's continue to upgrade and strive to reach LV40 today. Next, Chu Jia and the others left the cave and continued to fight monsters and upgrade. Chu Jia can easily defeat even bosses like the Magma Flame Demon, and when he spawns other monsters, it's like the autumn wind sweeping away fallen leaves, with just one word, quick. Massive amounts of experience are continuously harvested, and the level is increasing rapidly. LV38, LV39, LV40. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Chu Jia and Zhou Bui's levels both reached LV40. This is because most of the time is wasted looking for monsters. If there is a treasure hunting paper man, it can be improved even more. Brother, I really don't know how to thank you. Originally, I thought I could reach level 40 within half a year and I would be in high demand. I didn't expect you to give me KPI in one day and it would blow my mind. Zhou Buyi was so happy that he almost jumped up with joy. After Chu Jia said goodbye to Zhou Buyi, he left the Leon Volcano instance with Zheng Shan. Chu Jia, Occupation Field Master, Level, LV40, 1 Turn, Physique, 340, Spirit, 372, Power, 381, Speed, 369, Talent, Field Vision, Special, Sword Domain Chaotic Sword Mountain, 894 10 thousandths, Skills, Tiandao Sword Body, True Sword Control Technique, 10,000 Swords Chaozong, 10,000 swords returning to one, and three continuous slash with rapid wind. It seems that due to the Tiandao sword body, the attributes obtained by Chu Jia's upgrade are much higher than those of job transferees at the same level. Only LV40, all attributes are close to the 400 mark. When a LV60 career changer sees this panel, he has to lower his head and shout, Hello, big brother. The upgrade progress of the sword domain has almost reached one tenth. The main reason is that Chu Jia is hiding his strength and biding his time at this time, otherwise the speed could be faster. But no matter what, tomorrow's college entrance examination will be no problem. Kunlun Academy, and my sister, wait for me. When we returned to the villa, it was already 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Zhang Qianan and her three daughters have returned and are waiting for Chu Jia. Chu Jia, you're back. My dear Aji, I haven't seen you for a day, but you are so handsome again. Brother Jia, how are you doing today? What level are you at? As soon as Chu Jia entered the door, the three women gathered around him enthusiastically, and it felt like not seeing him for one day was like three autumns apart. 
I encountered a little trouble, but I solved it successfully and my level was raised to LV40. Chu Jia took the three girls to the sofa and sat down, chatting with them with a smile. Wow, level 40. We worked hard for seven days and just barely reached level 38. Brother Jia, your results in one day are equal to our efforts in half a month. Chin Xiaoxiao puffed up her cheeks and felt a strong blow. Chu Jia touched Chin Xiaoxiao's little head and said with a smile. Didn't I say I would take you to level up before? You didn't agree. Tang Ya grabbed Chu Jia's big hand, put it on her silky hair, and said charmingly. Aji, you definitely like women with strength and substance, right? We don't want to be a vase. Zhang Qianan blinked her beautiful eyes and echoed. That's right, the college entrance examination requires fighting. You only have levels, and it won't work without combat experience. Chu Jia, you have helped us lay a solid foundation, and we must do the rest ourselves. Chu Jia was really pleased when he heard this. The three girls are not only beautiful, but also measured girls, which is really rare. Since you don't want me to leave the training, then I will give you a gift. With that said, Chu Jia took out the flame robe, lava sword, and red flame pillar skill book and gave them to the three women respectively. The three girls were so happy that they never expected that Chu Jia would bring them gifts when he went to level up. The soft and delicate body hugged Chu Jia and jumped up and down, and the scene was extremely charming for a moment. Guard's House After Zhang Shan and Chu Jia separated, they came to the governor's mansion to report the situation to Zhang Yanqing. This matter was approved by Chu Jia. According to Chu Jia, the college entrance examination is tomorrow, so be mentally prepared for the guard. If you are too surprised tomorrow, you will easily lose the majesty of the guard. Master Guard my mission is completed. This is Chu Jia's battle video today. Please take a look. Zhang Yanqing took the phone, found the video, and quickly checked it. Zhang Shan was explaining on the side. Half an hour later, the video finished playing, and Zhang Yanqing signaled to Zhang Shan that she could leave. As expected of the Lord Guard, after knowing Chu Jia's true strength, he can still remain calm. It seems that Chu Jia is overthinking it. Lord Guard's determination is simply incredible. After leaving the governor's mansion, Zheng Shan couldn't help but murmur to herself and walked towards the villa. Phew, I, I, what on earth did I just see? After seeing Zheng Shan leave, Zhang Yanqing was like a balloon that had reached its limit and finally burst. Hold the grass, fiery volcano. This boy Chu Jia dares to break into fiery volcano. This is a LV40 LV50 copy. And this kid's level. LV40, is this a level that can be achieved in half a month? This combat power is even more outrageous. Kill three level 45 dungeon robbers. Killing elemental monsters is like chopping melons and vegetables. Are you so brave? The most important thing is that the swordsman that the entire Dongsheng city has been looking for for half a month is actually this guy Chu Jia. Holy shit. Oh shit. Is this really a new job transfer? What kind of evil genius is this? My worldview is completely shattered to pieces. Zhang Yanqing was jumping up and down in the office, like a monkey from Mount Amei. No wonder he was so out of sorts, the shock in the half hour just now was so intense. In order to maintain the dignity of the guard, he remained silent. At this moment, my emotions rebounded, like a volcano erupting, it was really difficult to control. Kianan, my good daughter. You really have found a son-in-law for my father who is incredible. Don't say anything anymore. I agree to this marriage. It's useless for anyone to stop it. Oh no. Those two little girls from the Qin family and the Tang family are still pestering my son-in-law. I have to find a way to make them pornographic. Lao Qin and Lao Tang are both fathers. You two should understand each other, hey hey hey. Knowing Chu Jia's true strength, Zhang Yanqing's attitude towards Chu Jia changed even more. I wish that Chu Jia and Zhang Qianan would make a big deal tonight and give him a grandson, so that he could enjoy the happiness of a family. After venting for another 10 minutes, Zhang Yanqing managed to calm down. After sitting back at his desk and pondering for a moment, Zhang Yanqing took out his personal mobile phone and dialed a number named, He Dao. He Dao is an alumnus of Zhang Yanqing, and both are students of the 390th class of Kunlun University. Currently, he Dao is working in the admissions office of Kunlun University. The wealth does not go to outsiders. 
Zhang Yanqing finally discovered Chu Jia, a monster genius, and naturally wanted to recruit him into his alma mater. Let him shine in Kunlun Academy and even help Kunlun Academy win a higher school ranking. Hey, Lao Zhang, it's not easy. You, a guard, can still call me. The call was connected, and the hearty laughter of a middle-aged man came from the phone. Old he, there's nothing else to do. I'll recommend a student to you. Zhang Yanqing raised the corners of his mouth and sounded proud. He has never been so confident. Quote dot 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 quote. No, Lao Zhang, the special admissions channels are closed, and the college entrance examination is tomorrow. Now you think of recommending students to me. After a brief silence, He Dao cursed angrily. That's how you miss the opportunity to work in Beijing. Why are you still like this after so many years? I'm not telling you, but with your temperament, you can't get anything hot to eat. Either go through the special recruitment channel, or take the normal college entrance examination. Normally, when Zhang Yanqing heard He Dao scolding him like this, he would have scolded him back. But today, not only was he not angry, he also had a condescending smile on his lips. Lao He, for the sake of my classmates, I said hello to you in advance. If you can recruit this student into Kunlun Academy, your life will be worthwhile. Then I can only order you here. You'd better come to Dongsheng City immediately with your admission letter. If this person is snatched away by another school, you can find a place to cry. After speaking, Zhang Yanqing hung up the phone without waiting for He Dao to say anything else. Ha ha, so cool. Zhang Yanqing clenched his fists tightly and felt extremely happy. He Dao always joked about being an 18th tier county official before, but today he is finally proud for once. Kunlun University Admissions Office. He Dao looked at the suddenly hung up phone with a confused look on his face. After a moment, he directly shouted at Hong Wen and yelled at the phone. Zhang Yanqing, you old guy, you hung up on me before I even spoke. What the hell are you at hash percent? I am the admissions director of Kunlun University. I have never seen such a genius. You at hash percent. After exhaling the fragrance for a while, He Dao immediately packed up his things and set off for Dongsheng City. He wanted to see how talented the student Zhang Yanqing was talking about could make Zhang Yanqing so awesome. The next day, as soon as Chu Jia opened his eyes, he saw three beautiful beauties surrounding his bed. A Ji, get up soon, it's time to take the college entrance examination. The gentle and charming voice lingered in my ears. Those who knew it was the college entrance examination, but those who didn't knew thought they were getting married. With the help of the three girls, Chu Jia got dressed and had breakfast. Just as he was about to drive to the exam location, Tang Ya stopped Chu Jia. Dear Aji, in order to thank you for giving me the gift, I also brought you something good. Tang Ya blinked her charming big eyes and began to dig things out of the backpack space. Skeleton General's armor, silver. Skeleton General's bracers, silver. Skeleton General's boots, silver. Under Chu Jia's stunned gaze, Tang Ya took out a set of LV-40 silver equipment. Silver equipment is rare, and being able to form a set is even rarer among rares and the set Tang Ya came up with is the best equipment that can only be revealed by the hidden boss skeleton general in the Ghost Valley copy. If you want to get such a set, I'm afraid you need to defeat the boss thousands of times to get it together. Its value is so high that it is simply inestimable. Chu Jia never expected that Tang Ya would give him such a valuable gift in return. Ya Ya, this equipment is too expensive, I. Before Chu Jia could finish speaking, Tang Ya's slender hand directly covered his lips. Why is it expensive? This equipment is just lying around at my house. I might as well give it to you, a G, to wear. Besides, you helped us upgrade to LV-35, so that we can confidently attack famous schools. This help is priceless. My dad is not sensible. I can't be sensible either. Tang Ya Zhao said angrily and started to help Chu Jia put on his equipment. Zhang Qianan and Qin Xiaoxiao also took the initiative to help. Chu Jia had no choice but to silently enjoy the three soft little hands sliding on his body. With each piece of top-notch equipment on his body, Chu Jia's attributes are also soaring, reaching the 500 mark in the fourth dimension. Moreover, the suit also has a special effect, which adds bone flames when attacking, which greatly increases attack damage. All I can say is that it is indeed a hidden suit, it is really powerful. 
After finishing dressing up, looking at Chu Jia, who was dressed in bone armor and looked as wild and domineering as a hell general, countless little stars flashed in the eyes of the three women at the same time. Ah, so handsome. This set of equipment is tailor-made just for you, Aji. Yes, yes, brother Jia looks powerful and domineering today. Well, he's really handsome. Chu Jia, wear this bone armor today and go create a miracle in Dongsheng City. The college entrance examination copy is a man-made copy specially designed by Longguo to test the student's strength. Inside the dungeon is a hundred-story tower, with monsters guarding each floor, and the level and strength increase step by step. The college entrance examination is a grand event in the Dragon Kingdom every year, and it can be said that the whole country rejoices. At this moment, the high platforms around the Dongsheng City Dungeon Square were already filled with spectators, a sea of people. There are family members of the students who are cheering for us, and there are also junior students who are observing with a learning attitude, but most of them are ordinary citizens who come to admire the heroic appearance of the new class of students. The candidates in the square were also excited and excited when they saw this bustling scene. It's finally the college entrance examination, I'm so excited. What level are you at? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm already level 15. Amazing, right, my requirements are not high just get into a first-class university. I want to get into a first-class university in my 15th grade. What are you daydreaming about? Yes, even though a first-class university is far behind the top 10 prestigious schools in Dragon Kingdom, it is not something that ordinary people can get into. At least it must be an S-class transferee like Mr. Liang. Ha, huh, why haven't you seen Mr. Liang? I don't know how high he is. He is the eldest young master. He has someone to take care of him. Naturally, you can't see him. But I haven't seen Chu Jia for a long time. Ha <laughs> ha, he went to the dungeon on the first day he changed jobs, and then he disappeared. He was probably frightened. He has been staying at home for the past half month, screaming. The only hidden profession in Dongsheng City turned out to be useless. I guess he doesn't even have the courage to take the college entrance examination. Our level must be higher than Chu Jia's. Doesn't it mean that we are better than the hidden professions? Then this college entrance examination is not stable. Brothers, am I right? Dude, you know logic, I couldn't agree more. Ha 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 ha. A group of students gathered together, laughing and entertaining Chu Jia, and were extremely happy. At this moment, a luxury car stopped at the edge of the square, attracting everyone's attention. Hold the grass, red flag 94 NB. This car costs tens of millions. Which rich man drove it? The car door opened, and a handsome young man wearing bone armor walked out. The young man has sharp eyebrows and starry eyes, and is extremely handsome. Many girls couldn't help but exclaim when they saw him for the first time. But compared with his refined appearance, the wild temperament exuding from his whole body is even more amazing. Covered in bone armor and with jagged bone spurs, he looks like an awakened lord of hell. He carries an arrogant majesty that makes people feel awe at the first sight. Chu, Chu Jia, hold the grass. Why is it him? How can this guy afford such a top-notch luxury car? Oh my god, if we haven't seen this guy for half a month, she won't be the richest woman on the list, right? Not only the luxury car, but also such handsome equipment. She loves Chu Jia so much, I guess this rich woman is at least 60 years old, no, 90 years old or older. That's what I'm saying, but just avoid the 20-year detour. Chu Jia is too thief. Mad. Condemn. Severely condemn. Chu Jia, who was making fun of him just now, suddenly became aloof and unattainable. The classmates around him were so angry that they turned into lemon spirits and belittled Chu Jia crazily in an attempt to maintain their meager self-esteem. However, what happened next was like a loud slap in the face of everyone, leaving them speechless. The car door opened again, and three figures who looked like immortals walked down, surrounding Chu Jia like they were vying for favor, and coldly glanced at the candidates around him. Dear classmates, as the daughter of the guard, I remind you to pay attention to your words and be careful of disaster coming from your mouth. Brother Jia, even if these people are ugly, they also have such bad mouths. How annoying. Xiao Xiao, you can't use a Ji's standards to ask others, after all, our Ji is the best. All the candidates stared at the three women in stunned silence, their faces completely filled with shock, as if they had seen a ghost. Zhang Qianan, 
Chin Xiao Xiao, Tang Ya, crazy, crazy, what did my special code see? Three beauties in Dongsheng City, Chu Jia actually fell in love with such a rich woman. I would laugh to death if one of these beauties was my girlfriend, but Chu Jia actually has three of her in his arms. This is so unfair, I want to die. Zhang Qianan, Chin Xiao Xiao, Tang Ya, these are not ordinary school beauties. Not only are they beautiful in appearance, but their backgrounds are also terrifying. They are all from powerful families in Dongsheng City. Not only Dongsheng no. One middle school, almost all students know them and regard them as their goddesses. Now, the three goddesses are all nestled next to one man. This made countless students' eyes red and their hearts broken. You three are so beautiful. If I came alone, there wouldn't be such a big commotion. Chu Jia shrugged helplessly, not caring about the murderous looks around him. He took Zhang Qianan and the three girls to a secluded place and started chatting as if no one was around. Awed by the power of the three women, the surrounding students no longer dared to slander Chu Jia wantonly, but they all looked strangely at Zhao Yixiang in the center of the square. Isn't Zhao Yixiang Tang Ya's ultimate suitor, licking the dog? Why did Tang Ya run into Chu Jia's arms after chasing after her? Zhao Yixiang's face turned red with anger, he held a sharp spear in his hand, gritted his teeth and rushed to Chu Jia, declaring war. Chu Jia, you shameless pretty boy. A useless field master. You don't even have the courage to challenge me. You are not a man at all. Today, in the college entrance examination, I will defeat you openly and openly. I want you to know that the most important thing for a man is his strength. In the face of strength, appearance is vulnerable. Zhao Yixiang's attitude is extremely arrogant, and his speeches are even more arrogant and domineering. But Chu Jia didn't even look at him, and was still chatting and laughing with Zhang Qianan and the three girls. Ignore, complete disregard. As Zhao Yixiang said, the most important thing for a man is his strength. With his current strength, he is not even qualified to make Chu Jia lower his eyelids. You. Dot how dare you ignore me. Zhao Yixiang's eyes were so angry that he wanted to rush forward and beat Chu Jia violently so that everyone could see his true face. Fortunately, the boys around him stopped him in time. Brother Zhao, it's not necessary, it's not necessary. The college entrance examination is about to start, let him be proud for a while longer. Isn't it true that a rubbish field master should be more handsome? If he gets into the college entrance examination dungeon, he won't even look like Mao. That's right, with your strength, brother Zhao, you will definitely become the dark horse of this exam. Everyone will look up to you then, and this Chu Jia is no exception. Ha ha, he may even kneel down when the time comes. Please forgive him for his arrogance today. After hearing the compliments from the younger brothers around him, Zhao Yixiang finally calmed down temporarily, snorted coldly, and walked away. Just as the younger brothers said, he, Zhao Yixiang, will become the strongest dark horse in this college entrance examination. Because, after his hard work yesterday, Zhao Yixiang has reached an astonishing level 21. At this level, in the history of Dongsheng City's college entrance examination, it is ranked among the top three. It's so terrifying. After the college entrance examination, there is no doubt that all the nobles will come to curry favor with me. Even if he is guarding, he must be given three points of thin noodles. Chu Jia is nothing, he can be ruined with just a wave of his hand. On the rostrum, it was filled with the powerful and high-ranking officials of Dongsheng City. They will watch the live broadcast of the college entrance examination and select outstanding candidates for investment and friendship. Whether it is the development of a family or a company, the most important thing is talent. A small investment at this moment may completely change the fate of the family in the future. Guardian, Lao Chin, last night, my yaya took the initiative to go home to see me. Wow, it's not easy. It's been seven days, and yaya finally remembers my old father. Sure enough, letting Zhao Yixiang challenge Chu Jia is a wonderful move. Even if Chu Jia avoids fighting, his impression in Yaya's heart will be greatly damaged. In the first row of the podium, Tang Long proudly shared his joy with Zhang Yanqing and Qin Yanhu. Although Tang Ya returned to the villa not long after returning home, it still gave him hope. Avoid fighting, I'm just too lazy to pay attention. Guard Zhang Yanqing cursed in his heart, but nodded and smiled on his face, planning to continue to encourage Tang Long. 
However, at this moment, a luxury car drove by, and the three girls Chu Jia and Tang Ya appeared in the square, attracting everyone's attention. The moment he saw Chu Jia, Tang Long's smiling face suddenly froze. Ha, huh, why does the equipment Chu Jia wears look so familiar to me? Holy crap, isn't that my heirloom skeleton general suit? How come it's on Chu Jia's body? Did Yaya not come home to see me last night? Just to get equipment for Chu Jia? No, no, no. Tang Long felt like he had received a 10,000 point critical blow in his heart, his face suddenly turned extremely gray, and he was hopeless. My Yaya, this is a LV-40 suit. What's the use of Chu Jia wearing it? You are confused. When Qin Yan who saw this, he sighed quietly. Old Tang, you don't have a set of silver equipment, so you can have some fun. My blank check is in Chu Jia's hands. I'm really afraid that one day, Chu Jia will take my property and run away with Xiao Xiao. Zhang Yanqing saw that these two guys were so incompetent, he coughed lightly and started to use damaging moves. Old Chin, Old Tang, this boy Chu Jia is too cunning. If it doesn't work, let's use force. Our daughter's wonderful youth cannot be ruined in Chu Jia's hands. I believe our daughter will understand our painstaking efforts. When Qin Yanhu and Tang Long heard this, a fierce look flashed in their eyes. The Lord Guard is right. This insidious Chu Jia used some kind of ecstasy soup to bewitch our daughter to this extent. This is simply cheating for money and girls. I can't stand it. Even a dog can't stand it. Chu Jia's results in this college entrance examination will definitely be disastrous. If our daughter can't wake up from this, we will fight Chu Jia directly. For the glory of old father. A hint of joy flashed in Zhang Yanqing's eyes, and he quickly took out two contracts and handed them to the two of them. This is the contract of, never agreeing to the relationship between Chu Jia and my daughter. You sign it to show your determination. Um, do you still need to sign a contract for this thing? Qin Yanhu and Tang Long looked at each other, with doubt flashing in their eyes. But soon, doubts were replaced by admiration, and both of them gave Zhang Yanqing a thumbs up. As expected of the Lord Guard, he is rigorous. He is really rigorous. As daughter slaves, maybe we will relent after my daughter begs a few times. The law must be used to harden our hearts. The two of them signed their names without saying anything. I feel a little more determined inside. The two of them even felt dissatisfied and took the initiative to make a vicious oath later. Even if we die, we will never agree to Chu Jia being with Xiao Xiao and Ya Ya, Qin Yanhu, Tang Long. Looking at the two contracts written in black and white, Zhang Yanqing smiled unkindly. Although this contract cannot directly cut off Chu Jia's relationship with Qin Xiaoxiao and Tang Ya, it can at least serve as a hindrance. After the college entrance examination, Chu Jia's strength will be fully revealed. Qianin, Dad can only help you so far. On the side, the talker of the Liang group, Liang Shanghai, saw this scene, a thoughtful light flashed in his eyes. His only son, Liang Jinming, has been missing in the Rugged Plains dungeon for seven days. No one can be seen in life, no body in death. Liang Shanghai estimated that something unexpected had happened to his son, and the person who had done it was probably the insidious and vicious sword immortal. However, this guy named Chu Jia also bears an unshirkable responsibility. According to the investigation, Liang Jinming chased Chu Jia to the Rugged Plain just to get back the copy of the Iron Mine. If Chu Jia had not accepted the copy of the Iron Mine at that time, and if Chu Jia had honestly handed over the copy of the Iron Mine later, this tragedy would not have happened. My only son will not die. He will shine in the college entrance examination and help the Liang group to reach a higher level. Therefore, Chu Jia bears indisputable responsibility for the death of his son. After learning the news, Liang Shanghai planned to arrest Chu Jia immediately and make him pay a heavy price. But I never expected that this Chu Jia would be protected by the guard's house, Kangchong Forge, and Phoenix Treasures. This made him feel incredible and at the same time, he was also a bit defensive and did not dare to act rashly. But at this moment, after hearing the conversation between Zhang Yanqing, Qin Yanhu and Tang Long, Liang Jinming suddenly realized that he had misjudged. It was not these three giants who protected Chu Jia, but just three immature little girls. Moreover, these three little girls were also deceived by Chu Jia, and their father hated Chu Jia to the core. If this is the case, 
thorny problems seem to suddenly become simpler. Since we can't find the Sword Immortal, let's use Chu Jia's blood first to pay homage to my son's soul in heaven. Liang Shanghai thought bitterly in his heart, coughed twice, and inserted into the conversation between Zhang Yanqing and the others. Master Guard, speaking of Chu Jia, I wonder if you all know that he is also burdened with a heinous murder case. Liang Shanghai's words were astonishing and immediately attracted the attention of everyone on the podium. Oh, what's the matter? You might as well tell me in detail. Zhang Yanqing frowned slightly, thinking that Liang Shanghai wanted to use the matter of the three Huang brothers to throw dirty water on Chu Jia. But he has the video as evidence, and he is not afraid of Liang Shanghai confusing right and wrong. Why? Liang Shanghai let out a long sigh, two old tears fell from the corners of his eyes, and he spoke sadly. You may have noticed that my son Liang Jinming did not appear in the examination room. He is an S-class thunder mage. His biggest dream is to be admitted to a first-class university and continue his studies as a mage. What a pity! His dream can no longer be realized because he is no longer here. And the person who planned to murder him was none other than the arrogant and domineering Chu Jia in the audience. As soon as these words came out, it was like thunder exploding, and everyone on the rostrum was stunned. The eldest son of the Liang group is dead. The person who did it was actually a waste field master. Everyone thought it was a fantasy, but seeing Liang Shanghai's heartbroken look, everyone subconsciously believed it. Although Liang Shanghai's actions are quite unethical, he can't joke about his son's life and death, right? A flash of surprise flashed in Zhang Yanqing's eyes, which was completely different from what he expected. But as a guard, Zhang Yanqing naturally would not believe Liang Shanghai's words, so he asked seriously. Liang Shanghai, you said Chu Jia murdered Liang Jinming, what was the motive? Liang Shanghai clenched his fists and gritted his teeth. Chu Jia's awakened waste domain master is completely different from my son Liang Jinming's S-class thunder mage. He originally wanted to leap over the dragon's gate, but reality gave him a hard blow and he could only be reduced to an ordinary civilian. This gave him an extremely twisted hatred of the rich. He is jealous of my son's talent, jealous of my son's career, jealous of my son's future. This is his motive for killing. Liang Shanghai's eyes were blood red, and he spoke with certainty, directly labeling Chu Jia a distorted character. Zhang Yanqing narrowed his eyes slightly, looking at the grief-stricken Liang Shanghai, and sneered in his heart. Oh, it seems like this Chu Jia is really crazy. But Liang Shanghai has to speak responsibly. Do you have any evidence? When Liang Shanghai said, Chu Jia is jealous of Liang Jinming's talent, Zhang Yanqing already understood that what Liang Shanghai said was just a complete lie. On the day of his job change, Chu Jia was able to swing his sword across the sky and crush the dungeon. With this kind of strength, tell me, Chu Jia would be jealous of a mere S-level thunder mage. Simply ridiculous, Liang Shanghai didn't hear the coldness in Zhang Yanqing's tone at all. He nodded heavily and said in pain, Lord Guard, I am also the president of the Liang group, how can I slander a young man for nothing? I take responsibility for what I said, and all the evidence is sufficient. I will have someone send it over immediately. The Liang group has done this kind of forgery of evidence a lot. Even if it is black, it can be turned into white. Immediately afterwards, he turned his eyes, looked at Chu Jia who was surrounded by women in the square, and said fiercely. Please, Lord Guard, send someone immediately to arrest Chu Jia and put him in jail. My son will die with his eyes open and will no longer be able to take the college entrance examination. Why can a perpetrator like Chu Jia do it? Allowing a vicious person like Chu Jia to take the college entrance examination is simply a blasphemy against the college entrance examination. Liang Shanghai's voice got louder and louder as he spoke, and he seemed to be in extreme grief. He gritted his teeth and hit the table, like an old father trying his best to restrain the pain of losing his son. Such a scene made everyone present moved and spoke out for Liang Shanghai. I really didn't expect that this Chu Jia would embark on this path of no return after changing his job to a useless job. I think he has evil intentions, and changing jobs is just an excuse. That's right, for such a vicious person, even if he changes his profession to an S-class profession, he will still be a great disaster. Guard, please be sure to expel Chu Jia from the college entrance examination. 
This is not only for Boss Liang's son, but also for the sake of all the candidates. Seeing that everyone was aroused by his words, Liang Shanghai was secretly happy. A few more desolate cries were heard, adding even more heat to the anxious atmosphere. Zhang Yanqing waved his hand, suppressed the noise of the crowd, and said without any doubt. The college entrance examination is coming soon, so don't cause too many troubles, so as not to affect the mood of the candidates. Liang Shanghai, why don't you send the evidence first, and after the college entrance examination is over, I will arrest Chu Jia directly. Seeing that the guard did not agree to terminate Chu Jia's college entrance examination, Liang Shanghai was slightly disappointed, but he couldn't say much. After agreeing, he started to make phone calls and asked his subordinates to deliver evidence. Clang! A loud bell rang in the square, and the door to the college entrance examination copy slowly opened. Zhang Yanqing no longer paid attention to Liang Shanghai, faced the field, and spoke loudly. Dongsheng City candidates, this college entrance examination lasts four hours, and the scores will be settled based on the clearance time and the number of clearance levels. Except for equipment, you are not allowed to use any auxiliary props. The screen in the square will record the exam process of all of you. Once you violate it, your results will be invalid. As the guardian, on behalf of Dongsheng City, I wish all candidates to win the gold medal and achieve satisfactory results. Now I announce that the college entrance examination has officially begun. All candidates please enter in an orderly manner. As the guard's voice sounded in the square, the entire square seemed to be on fire, and cheers resounded through the sky. The candidates were also gearing up and eager to try. They stood in line according to the school and entered the copy gate in an orderly manner. After Chu Jia and the three women cheered each other, they also separated. A G, don't swipe too fast, give us a chance to show off, hee <laughs> hee. Ha ha, then you have to work hard. The college entrance examination is divided into single player mode and team mode. Zhang Qianin and the three girls have formed a team together since they changed jobs, and they have been working together continuously. Naturally, they chose the team mode. Chu Jia's strength has already surpassed the others, so there is no doubt that he chose the single-player mode. Soon, thousands of candidates all entered the college entrance examination copy. On the big screen in the square, the images of the top-ranked candidates also began to be broadcast live. The monsters in the college entrance examination dungeon gradually increase from level 1, so the first few levels are considered to be scoring questions. Different candidates are vying to be the leader, and the images on the big screen are constantly changing. It really feels like thousands of troops crossing the single plank bridge. But when reaching the 20th floor, the monster level reached LV10, the sprint speed of the large army began to slow down, and the real highlight officially began. Wow, that boy with the spear is so powerful. He killed the LV10 elite monster instantly. Not only that, his time control is also extremely precise. After solving one level, he immediately rushes to the next level without any delay. Goddess Zhang Qianin and the others are so powerful. Not to mention they can kill instantly. They are a joy to watch when fighting. They are so beautiful. It seems that the top two are these two teams, but I don't know who can grab the third place. The audience in the square looked at the big screen attentively and discussed intensely. After fierce competition, the team of Zhao Yixiang and Zhang Qianin successfully stood out and firmly occupied the first and second positions. This Zhao Yixiang is not easy. Looking at the speed of clearance, I'm afraid it has reached level 20. The guard's daughter is not bad either. Facing three monsters at the same time, she can still stay in second place. It's incredible. Wait a minute, they actually overtook us. How many levels have these three girls reached? Even the LV-12 elite monster can be killed instantly with one move. Lord Guard, Boss Chin, Boss Tang, you really gave birth to a good daughter. On the rostrum, a group of dignitaries and senior officials also commented with gusto. It stands to reason that most of the candidates on the list in the early stage are single-player mode candidates, and team mode candidates will be more effective in the later stage. Unexpectedly, the three girls of Zhang Qianin were so strong on the list just from the beginning, which really shocked all the senior executives. For a while, there were constant compliments on the rostrum, and they congratulated the three old fathers one after another in an attempt to bring them closer together. Ha ha, as expected of me, Tang Long's daughter, she is so strong. 
Baby Xiao Xiao, come on. Try to break our record in Dongsheng City. Ha ha. Tang Long and Qin Yan who were overjoyed and laughed, extremely proud. The last time I knew my daughter's level was seven days ago. I never expected that after not seeing her for a week, my daughter would grow to such an outrageous level. At the same time, they became more determined in their ideas. The best daughter he has raised for 18 years must not be abducted by Chu Jia, a useless field master. Zhang Yanqing's eyes were also full of smiles, and she was shocked by her daughter's wonderful performance. But unlike Chen Yanhu and Tang Long, he understood after a moment's thought that this must be Chu Jia's contribution. Even Chu Jia has reached level 40, how can these three stupid girls be so different? However, what makes Zhang Yanqing strange is, why is Chu Jia not on the list yet? In the college entrance examination copy, Chu Jia killed the LV-13 elite monster with one sword, and then walked towards the 27th floor unhurriedly. Although the monsters in the artificial replicas cannot gain experience, they can accumulate advancement progress in the sword domain. If you clear the 100th level, you can accumulate 100 progress points with less effort. Not bad. Unlike other candidates, Chu Jia's goal is to pass the entire college entrance examination copy. Therefore, he did not need to race against time to climb the tower for that little time. On the contrary, maintaining a stable mentality is the most beneficial to him. But even so, Chu Jia's ranking is still improving steadily. 50th, 30th, 10th, 7th, 3rd. Ha ha, it's the 40th floor. Xiao Xiao and the others have already reached the 40th floor. Zhao Yixiang has been struggling on the 38th floor for a long time, and my Yaya is still relaxed on the 40th floor. It's amazing. Qin Yanhu and Tang Long pounded the table with excitement, their whole bodies trembling with excitement. Originally, they expected their daughter to be able to clear the 45th floor, which would be very good, but looking at the current clearance speed, I'm afraid 60th floor is more than enough. When the college entrance examination is over, they must ask their daughters how they did so well. However, his eyes turned slightly and he accidentally glanced at the third person. The smiles on their faces suddenly froze, as if they had seen a ghost, and they exclaimed. Hold the grass, what the hell, Chu, Chu Jia. I saw a domineering young man wearing bone armor walking slowly up to the 33rd floor. Facing the LV-16 elite monster that blocked most of the candidates. He just made a casual stroke with the long sword in his hand, a silver arc flashed in the air, and a big head fell down. Immediately afterwards, he walked calmly towards the 34th floor without looking at the monster. Even through the screen, you can clearly feel how calm and elegant he is. It's so elegant that it doesn't look like you are taking the college entrance examination. It's more like walking on a path in the woods. Not a trace of tension, not a trace of pressure, calm from the inside out. Did you receive the wrong signal? How could Chu Jia be in third place? What the hell was that sword strike just now? Even Yaya and the others are not so calm, are they? Have you made a mistake? Is this really a domain master? Whose domain master wields a sword and kills level 16 elite monsters? Not only Tang Long and Qin Yanhu, but all the dignitaries and senior officials on the podium were dumbfounded, looking at the image of the third place in disbelief. The huge shock in my heart was simply more shocking than seeing Zhang Qianan and the three girls rushing to the first place. Hold the grass. Who is this handsome guy in bone armor? Is he definitely taking the college entrance examination, not doing art? So handsome, who knows the name of this handsome guy? I'll spend money to buy it, speed it up. Chu Jia, he is Chu Jia, the school idol of our Dongsheng number. Two middle school, his profession is a field master. Field master, this is a field master. What kind of international joke are you kidding? Mad, he walks so slowly and moves so slowly. Why do I think he is so domineering? You don't understand this. The bad students are crazy about the questions in the exams, and the top students are crazy about the questions in the exams. Only the true academic gods will answer the questions slowly, because every time they make a stroke, they will step on the horse to be the correct answer. This is what strength. No way, no way. Every step he takes is stepping on my heart. I love him so much that I want to give him a monkey. It looks very low-key, but it feels so gorgeous. Such a strong contrast made the tens of thousands of spectators in the entire square feel excited and tremble with excitement. 
Chu Jia didn't know that he was already ranked third on the list. Little did I know that his appearance on the list would be even more sensational than the first place. He was still walking slowly and steadily, his steps were steady but unstoppable. The seemingly ordinary long sword turned out to be the sickle of death in Chu Jia's hands. The point of the sword. The soul of all things is broken. No monster can be spared, no monster can withstand the power of a sword. At this moment, he was like an emperor dominating the world, exuding majesty that looked down upon everything. The throne is right in front, you just need to walk over. No one can fight for it, no one dares to fight for it. 38 Floors Zhao Yixiang panted and pulled out the spear from a giant wolf, laughing proudly. Ha ha, it only took me 10 minutes to kill the LV-19 monster. Who else is asking at this speed? That loser Chu Jia, I'm afraid he doesn't even dare to think about it, right? Ha ha. No, with his useless profession, I'm afraid he can't even see the shadow of the 38th floor. I'm probably still grinding on the first 10 floors now. Ha ha. Thinking of the huge gap between Chu Jia and myself after the college entrance examination. Thinking of Goddess Tang Ya seeing Chu Jia's true face, she abandoned Chu Jia mercilessly and threw herself into her arms. Zhao Yixiang was so happy that his chin almost reached the sky. Ahem, be reserved. Don't be too indulgent. My current results should be number one in the rankings. I'm afraid the entire Dongsheng city is looking up to me. I must establish my own image. I'll rest for a while first, and then go to the 39th floor immediately. I must improve my performance to a higher level. In this way, maybe goddesses Zhang Qianan and Qin Xiaoxiao will fall into my arms. Since Chu Jia can hug him on both sides, why can't I, Zhao Yixiang? Mine, it's all mine, he 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 he. Zhao Yixiang didn't know that just when he was getting carried away, Chu Jia also came to the 38th floor. Facing the monster he had worked hard to defeat for 10 minutes, Chu Jia just swung his sword lightly. There was a flash of cold light and bone flames drifted. The giant wolf was directly cut into two pieces, leaving no intact body. Instant kill. It's still an instant kill. It's crazy. For killing a LV-19 monster so easily, his level may have reached an astonishing LV-30. Obviously he is a useless field master, but he can show such great strength. Special talent. Definitely a special talent. I remember that last year there was a girl named Chu Shuangyu who also awakened a special talent and was specially recruited by Kunlun Academy. I didn't expect that an even more outrageous one would appear this year. You don't know, right? That Chu Shuangyu is Chu Jia's biological sister. Both siblings are monsters. On the rostrum, the dignitaries and senior officials watched Chu Jia's triumphant progress, and their hearts were filled with turmoil and horror. At this moment, no one dares to look down upon this field master. It's not LV-30, it's LV-40. Tang Long stared at Chu Jia who was wearing bone armor, trembling all over, he couldn't believe what he saw. Bone flame. He actually saw Chu Jia igniting the bone flames of the skeleton general suit. This is a suit effect that can only be stimulated by those with level 40 or above. Even the top talent in a first-class city can reach level 40 half a month after changing jobs, that's very rare. What's more, Chu Jia still spends half of his time in the villa, not wanting to make progress. How can such a person reach LV40? Crazy. I must be crazy to ride on a horse. Next to Tang Long, Liang Shanghai was also staring at the big screen in stunned silence, his face gloomy to the extreme. Mad. Didn't he say that Chu Jia is a waste field master? LV-30. Special talent. What the hell is this? This strength is far inferior to that of my dead son. If he is a nobody, he will be framed by the Liang group. But the strength shown by Chu Jia at this moment is enough to join a first-class university. It is absolutely impossible for Zhang Yanqing to treat this kind of talent carelessly. Liang Shanghai never expected that what was originally a surefire slander would turn into shooting himself in the foot in the blink of an eye. Thoughts were racing in his mind, and he quickly began to plan the follow-up matters. The first thing is to ask your subordinates to modify the evidence. Who could have imagined that the situation would change so dramatically in just a few dozen minutes? The previous rhetoric is no longer enough to discredit Chu Jia, and may even in turn affect the Liang group. New black material must be fabricated to attack Chu Jia. 
Just as Liang Shanghai was deep in thought, a rapid voice suddenly interrupted his thoughts. Boss, evidence, I brought it to you. A young man in a suit hurriedly came to Liang Shanghai, respectfully handed over a thick pile of evidence, and waited for Liang Shanghai's praise with a flattering face. Whoa, Liang Shanghai's expression changed drastically. He never expected that the evidence would be ready so quickly. Is the Liang Group's black production line so mature? Liang Shanghai, who had always been calm, was in a rare panic. He subconsciously grabbed the evidence and planned to burn it directly and then die without any evidence. However, a pair of big hands took the evidence one step ahead of him and firmly captured it. The person who took action was none other than guard Zhang Yancheng. How can the speed of a third turn master be comparable to that of Liang Shanghai, a second turn master? Chu Jia has been jealous of Liang Jinming, who belongs to a wealthy family, since the first year of high school. He has repeatedly engaged in twisted behaviors such as stalking. His classmate Chi Mumu can testify. After changing jobs, when classmates were discussing team formation for the college entrance examination, Chu Jia once asserted that Liang Jinming would not be able to take the college entrance examination. Zhang Yanqing casually opened the evidence, selected a few passages with great interest, and read them directly, marveling at them. Tisk, tisk, it's indeed the Liang group. The investigation of this evidence is more detailed than that of the town guard. It's true that Chu Jia's special talent is comparable to that of an SSS level job transferee, yet he is actually jealous of an S level job transferee. This idea is really elusive. You think so, Liang Shanghai? Zhang Yanqing had a smile on her lips, but her eyes were cold to the bone. The three words, Liang Shanghai, bite extremely hard, as if they want to choose someone to devour. Looked at Liang Shanghai unkindly. I took all precautions, but I didn't expect to believe this old man's lies. With the strength that Chu Jia has shown now, first-class universities are sure to win, and top-notch universities can also make an impact. Looking at the whole country, this is also the best among people. With this kind of potential, are you saying that he is jealous of a mere S-class job transferee? What is the difference between this and, a big country envies a small country? This is an extremely retarded statement. Liang Shanghai, do you want to give us an explanation? We stood up for you, but you lied to us. You old man is really shady. You stepped on the horse. If this lets Chu Jia know that we are scolding him along with you, we will die unjustly. Liang Shanghai's expression turned extremely ugly. He could feel that Zhang Yanqing was very angry, more angry than ever before. The dignitaries around him even planned to use him as a pledge to befriend Chu Jia. The situation took a turn for the worse and was extremely unfavorable to him. Everyone, things are not what you think. Liang Shanghai spoke hoarsely, trying to restore some credibility. Oh, what story are you going to tell us this time? Zhang Yanqing looked at Liang Shanghai coldly, his tone full of teasing. However, the scene that appeared in the next moment made the corners of his eyes jump suddenly, and he couldn't help but secretly said, Old Fox. Liang Shanghai didn't say anything, but slapped the young man in the suit with a confused look. The young man flew out upside down, vomiting blood and fell into a coma, not knowing whether he was alive or dead. Everyone on the rostrum was stunned. Lord Guard, and all my colleagues, the fault of this matter lies with our Liang group, and I, Liang, will never shirk responsibility. The only blame is that I was heartbroken after losing my son. I was impatient and did not strictly verify the authenticity of the evidence, which allowed some people with ulterior motives to take advantage of it. If it hadn't been for the guard's warning, I might have made a big mistake and accidentally injured the top genius in Dongsheng City. But please rest assured, after the college entrance examination, I will apologize to little friend Chu Jia in person, and I will never let him feel any grievance. Liang Shanghai clasped his hands into his fists, spoke with a sonorous voice and spoke righteously. With some rhetoric, he directly shifted the responsibility to his subordinates, and he himself became the victim. The surrounding dignitaries looked at each other in confusion. Although they knew that this old guy was telling lies again, they couldn't find any place to refute for a while. Okay, if Chu Jia forgives you, then I won't pursue it any further. Zhang Yanqing's eyes flashed, and he said a few words, then ignored Liang Shanghai. Although Liang Shanghai is hateful, he can settle accounts later.
The college entrance examination is the most important thing today. Don't let anything disturb the candidates in the copy, especially Chu Jia. The small commotion on the podium did not attract much attention from the audience. Because, their eyes have been firmly locked on Chu Jia, and they have no time to care about anything else. Floor 40. It's floor 41. Instant kill. Still an instant kill. It's unimaginable that I can feel both fast and slow feelings in one person at the same time. It's so exciting to me. Looking at this posture, Chu Jia hopes to compete with the goddess for the first place. I see, the goddess has already reached the 55th floor. The gap is too big. Haha, ha, wasn't that Zhao Yixiang very fast at first? What about now? You can't even see Chu Jia's back. The audience in the square was discussing enthusiastically, and the horrifying sound went round and round, soaring into the sky. Everyone is eagerly paying attention to who is the final winner between Chu Jia and the goddess. Soon, reality gave them the answer. Rushing all the way to the 55th floor, Zhang Qianan and the three girls consumed a lot of energy and had to slow down. On the other hand, Chu Jia, the entire 40th floor is still just one sword. 14th floor, 10th floor, 6th floor, 3rd floor. The gap between the three girls Chu Jia and Zhang Qianan is constantly narrowing. Finally, Chu Jia and Zhang Qianan join forces on the 60th floor. Guarding this floor is a LV-30 eye catching white tiger, with a body like a hill and a roar that shakes the sky. While Zhang Qianan and the three girls were still stacking buffs, Chu Jia had already slashed out with his sword. The cold light is biting and the sword energy is everywhere. The white tiger split into two without any suspense, and died. Just like any previous level, it is extremely ordinary, but extremely shocking. Chu Jia climbed to the top of the list without any suspense and became the first. Instant kill. You can even get an instant kill at level 60. Is Chu Jia so strong? What is the upper limit of this kid's strength? You can't even see his depth at level 60. Monster. Absolutely monstrous. Qin Yanhu and Tang Long couldn't help but swallow hard as they watched Chu Jia reach the top of the list, and then gradually widen the gap with Zhang Qianan and the three girls. Thinking of what they did this week, the two of them wanted to slap themselves twice. What have we been doing all week? We want to drive away such an excellent son-in-law. If this really drives Chu Jia away, let alone my daughter's unwillingness, we ourselves will have to regret it. Fortunately, all the previous actions failed. What a failure, what a failure. At this moment, they finally understood that their daughter was definitely able to obtain such strong strength because of Chu Jia's influence. Otherwise, if the three of them could reach the 45th floor, it would be incredible. Son-in-law. This is my destined son-in-law. It won't work no matter who comes. Ahem. Lord Guard, please give us another look at the contract just now. We feel that the content inside needs to be reconsidered. Tang Long and Qin Yanhu sneered at Zhang Yanqing, intending to get the contract back and then tear it up, completely tear it up. Old Qin and Old Tang, the ancients said, those who break their promises should be punished by eating rocks. You probably don't want your daughters to know that you are people who don't keep your word, right? Zhang Yanqing crossed his arms over his chest and smiled meaningfully. Okay, it turns out that you, the guard, have known Chu Jia's strength for a long time. We are heart to heart with you, but you are playing tricks on us, right? Tang Long and Qin Yan who were stunned when they heard this, and then stared at Zhang Yanqing with gritted teeth. Hey, it's all for my daughter. Zhang Yanqing chuckled and did not deny it. Okay, okay, is that what you're doing, guard? Then we don't care. Chu Jia and my daughter can do whatever they like. We can have as many children as we can, anyway, we can afford them. Hang Sao. Do you two old guys want to order billion? This is your daughter. The three old fathers bickered on the podium regardless of their image, making everyone around them envious. With the strength shown by Chu Jia, the top schools are definitely safe. After graduation, he will be a giant. There is no problem in protecting a family for decades or hundreds of years. I only regret that my daughter was not so lucky and did not meet Chu Jia first. Only Liang Shanhai looked at the screen with a gloomy expression, the corners of his eyes twitching constantly, forcibly suppressing the anger in his heart. The stronger Chu Jia shows, the higher the value of his apology. Now, the Liang group may be bleeding heavily. However, Chu Jia is just a wild kid from a small town. 
No matter how awesome he is, where can he be? It's 80 stories high. Oh no, 85 stories. Liang Shanghai comforted himself in his heart. However, reality gave him a heavy blow. 80th floor. A LV-40 monster can still be killed by Chu Jia with one sword. The seemingly ordinary long sword in Chu Jia's hand looks like an immortal weapon. Cutting iron like mud, invincible. Moreover, this is not Chu Jia's limit. Originally his attributes were outrageous. Wearing the skeleton general suit, his attributes have increased to a terrifying level. 82nd floor, 85th floor, 87th floor, 90th floor. The entire audience in the college entrance examination square was ignited. Oh my god, it's the 90th floor. Crazy, crazy, there is such a monster in our Dongsheng city. The one guarding the 90th floor is a level 50 hidden boss. Can Chu Jia pass the level? Remove the, my boyfriend is invincible. Don't be too confident. See clearly what the monster on the 90th floor is. This is an elemental monster, a physics player like Tian Kechuji. Chu Jia looked at the monster burning with red flames in front of him, with a stunned smile on his face. Ah this, brother, why is it you? Is it such a coincidence? The monster guarding the 90th floor was actually the magma balrog he had dealt with before. In the college entrance examination copy, the magma balrog is not blessed by the magma lake, only a solitary one. But even so, the terrifying attributes of the hidden boss at level 50 would be a disaster level for other candidates. On the rostrum, all the dignitaries and senior officials had a look of unwillingness on their faces when they saw the monster on the 90th floor. Magma Balrog, Mater, how could there be such a dung monster on the 90th floor this year? Holy shit, this magma fire demon is immune to 99% of physical damage. Chu Jia has met his nemesis. Hey, it's over. It's not that Chu Jia is weak, it's because he was targeted. I thought Chu Jia could break Dongsheng City's record and create a genius who could break through the 90th floor, but I didn't expect, ah. Be content, the 89th floor is already high enough to rival the geniuses of big cities. Level 90 is a watershed in the college entrance examination copy. Because after level 90, the difficulty of the monsters on each level will increase dramatically. It is equivalent to the additional questions in the previous life exam. And the 90th floor is the last big question in the test paper. After passing this level, you can join the ranks of geniuses and aspire to the scene after level 90. No one in Dongsheng City has ever cleared this touchstone level 90. The only one who had hope before was Chu Jia's sister Chu Shuangyu. But because she awakened her special talent, she was directly recruited by Kunlun Academy, so she did not take the college entrance examination. She never expected that her brother Chu Jia, the most promising person, would suffer from attribute restraint. Phew, it's finally over. Level 90. This guy Chu Jia is too evil. What kind of talent has he awakened that can actually make a useless field master grow to such a terrifying level? Liang Shanghai gritted his teeth and thought, feeling a faint sense of fear in his heart. Chu Jia showed great potential. My stupid son couldn't bear to die, and he had left such a big hidden danger for himself. What a cheater. After the college entrance examination, we must find a way to win over Chu Jia. If we can't win over him, we can only do it. Hidden dangers must be nipped in the bud. However, the next scene played on the big screen made Liang Shanghai, who had just breathed a sigh of relief, completely break his guard. Impossible. How is this possible? Facing the LV-50 magma fire demon, Chu Jia finally became serious. Holding the sword of the domain in his hand, in the flash of light, three sword energy flew out vertically and horizontally like a horse, directly covering the magma flame demon with the force of a triangle. Three consecutive blasts of lightning. The terrifying sword energy is constantly tearing and cutting on the magma fire demon's mountain-like body. A shocking explosion erupted from the magma fire demon, and the entire 90th floor was illuminated by flames. The huge body was pushed back continuously by the impact of the air waves, and fell to the ground like a jade pillar pushing down a mountain of gold. The earth collapsed and turned into dots of flames that disappeared without a trace. Magma Balrog, die! In an instant, the entire square fell into dead silence. All this happened so suddenly and shocking that no one could react for a while. Immediately afterwards, the entire square was completely shocked. Crazy, 
I'm going crazy. Level 90. The hidden boss at level 50 can be killed instantly with one sword. Is this still a human? We have a dragon in Dongsheng City. Genius. Monster. Is this the world of genius? Ah, it's so shocking. This ticket is so worth it. Not only the audience in the square, but also the dignitaries on the rostrum are not much better. Holy shit. With this strength, you say he is a field master. Instant kill. Inverse attribute instant kill. The special code is outrageous. I can't stand it anymore. My son-in-law is so shocking that my father-in-law's heart can't bear it anymore. Only guard Zhang Yanqing looked at all this calmly with a smile on his face. Haha, ha, even the stronger magma flame demon Chu Jia has been killed. This monster that has lost its location is not as good as yesterday's one. Suddenly, Zhang Yanqing raised his eyebrows and looked into the sky with a smile. Ha ha, Lao He, sure enough, you're still here. As soon as he finished speaking, a figure in the sky grew from small to large, flew through the air, and landed heavily on the rostrum. Flying in the air, a strong person at rank 4. Oh my god, which master is here? The dignitaries on the rostrum were startled by the sudden figure. I saw that the person who came was a middle-aged man with a majestic appearance, with a Chinese character face, a body like a tiger, vigorous and powerful, and not angry but proud. It was none other than He Dao, the director of admissions office of Kunlun University who came in a hurry. Ever since he received Zhang Yanqing's call, he rushed towards Dongsheng City in a hurry. Fortunately, I arrived at the scene in time and could see with my own eyes whether the genius Zhang Yanqing mentioned was a mule or a horse. Humph, I'm sure I'm going to come. If you haven't returned to your alma mater in more than ten years, I think you, an old guy, don't even know the development of Kunlun University. I'm here to tell you that any ordinary student at Kunlun Academy can defeat the genius you call him. He Dao said aggressively. He was already violent, and he was even more angry when Zhang Yanqing hung up the phone. Seeing Zhang Yanqing at this moment, I vented everything in my head. Zhang Yanqing heard this and didn't take it seriously. He and He Dao are not only alumni, but also roommates, and their relationship is as stable as an old iron. Otherwise, he Dao would not be notified about Chu Jia as soon as possible. Zhang Yanqing had often quarreled with He Dao before, but he always lost. But this time, he will definitely win. Ha ha, Lao He, don't speak too early. Well, the first place is the student I mentioned, and he has now cleared the 90th floor. He Dao glanced at the big screen, snorted coldly, and sat down beside Zhang Yanqing unceremoniously. Old Zhang, I think you have set back your horizons by becoming an 18th tier county magistrate. Only the 90th floor, 90% of the freshmen at Kunlun Academy can pass this floor. The real geniuses have to reach the last 10 levels. Hey, does this little guy you talk about have such strength? Indeed, 90% of the freshmen in Kunlun Academy can pass this level. But Lao He, don't forget, the equipment they use is not ordinary equipment, they all have at least one golden equipment with them. If not, how could they possibly be opponents of level 50 monsters just based on their personal strength, just half a month after changing jobs? Zhang Yanqing accurately pointed out the loopholes in He Dao's words. He Dao curled his lips and said indifferently, Kunlun Academy is one of the top three prestigious schools in the Dragon Kingdom. I don't know how many people are trying to get in. What's the big deal in preparing a piece of golden equipment for this? Besides, although this little guy you are talking about does not have gold equipment, his skeleton general suit is even rarer than gold equipment. Old Zhang, you have a bit of a double standard. Hearing He Dao's teasing, Zhang Yanqing was stunned for a moment, then shook his head helplessly. He knew Chu Jia's true strength, but for a moment he ignored the top quality equipment on him. In his own eyes, these equipments were just the icing on the cake, but in He Dao's eyes, they became Chu Jia's biggest reliance. It doesn't matter, you'll find out when you read on. Seeing Zhang Yanqing speechless due to his rebuke, He Dao felt relaxed and grinned. Old Zhang, this little guy may be treated like a star in Dongsheng City. But in a place like Kunlun Academy where geniuses gather, you should be mentally prepared. He will probably just disappear into the background. Zhang Yanqing smiled slightly, said nothing, and looked at the big screen expectantly. It's the 90th floor. The hardest part of the college entrance examination copy. 
This should allow you to show your true strength. While the two were talking, Chu Jia had already reached the 91st floor with elegant steps. Seeing the monster guarding the 91st floor, Chu Jia couldn't help but take a breath. Holy shit, a LV-70 giant giant ape. I saw a 10 meter tall khaki giant ape standing in the center of the 91st floor. The scarlet eyes were like two bloody lanterns, exuding a violent aura. As his eyes opened and closed, a bloodthirsty killing intent rushed towards him, what a terrifying beast. Tisk, tisk, I've only heard that monsters after the 90th level of the college entrance examination are so powerful. I finally saw it today, it's really outrageous. I jumped directly from level 50 to level 70. Is this really a test for newcomers to change jobs? Chu Jia was amazed, and then a cheerful smile appeared on his face. But it's just right for me. I'm worried that the monster is too weak and I won't be able to use the sword domain at all. On the rostrum, even the dignitaries who have seen strong winds and waves suddenly changed their expressions when they saw the giant giant ape. Oh my god, a level 70 monster. The difficulty of this exam has actually increased again. And it's a monster with abnormal defense like the great ape. If there is not enough damage, there is no hope of clearing the level. Can Chu Jia do it? Although he had a smooth journey before, the monsters in front of him are not at the same level as those before. Not to mention all the dignitaries, even He Dao's eyes twitched. It turns out to be a monster like the great ape. Its body is as hard as rock, and its attack power is terrifying to the extreme. The power of a punch can break mountains and crack rocks. If it hits a person, it will explode directly. Not to mention newcomers who have changed jobs, even if they are both at level 70, that is quite a tricky situation. Old Zhang, my requirements are not high. As long as this little guy can persist for 5 seconds, I will give him second class admissions treatment. The copy of the college entrance examination has a protection mechanism. The copy will be sent out immediately after the death of the candidate, so there is no need to worry about life safety. But once it is transmitted, it means the complete end of the college entrance examination. He Dao thought that he thought highly enough of Chu Jia. After all, the resources of small cities were indeed incomparable with those of big cities. However, the next scene caused He Dao's casual mood to change instantly, and he suddenly stood up. Not only him, but also the tens of thousands of spectators on the rostrum and in the entire square all stood up excitedly at this moment. Staring at the big screen, their whole bodies trembling with excitement, they all shouted the same name. Sword Immortal. In the dungeon, I saw a towering and terrifying sword mountain tearing through the void, carrying earth-shaking power, descending here in great force. The unparalleled sword intent lingers around the sword mountain, transforming into a white brilliance that looks like a substance. From a distance, it looks like a fairy mountain, which makes people yearn for it. However, from such a sword mountain filled with fairy spirit, a long sword of silver light flew out and respectfully brought Chu Jia to the top of the mountain thousands of feet high. Atop the towering mountains, the boy in bone armor stood proudly. His seemingly thin figure looked so mysterious and unpredictable at this moment. The next moment, the word, Zan, fell with a sound that resounded through the sky. Countless flying swords roared out from the sword mountain, like shooting stars, turning into bright sword lights and slashing towards the giant ape below. The 10 meter tall giant giant ape looked as tiny as an ant in front of Luangian Mountain. The sword light pours down like a violent storm. Even if it has all kinds of defenses, how can it withstand the power of 10,000 swords? The shrill screams resounded throughout the 91st floor, and the LV-70 great ape was pierced by thousands of arrows and exploded to death. Gudong. The whole square was dead silent. All you can hear is the sound of swallowing saliva. Even though they are separated by the screen, they can really feel the fear of the great ape. Cruel, too cruel. The great giant giant ape at level 70 died in such a painful way. Is this really the 91st floor called the death trial? It's true that it defies heaven. But isn't Chu Jia the one who defies heaven the most? He is actually the sword immortal. The sword immortal is just a newcomer who has just transferred to another profession. In an instant, the whole square cheered like crazy and it was a complete sensation. He Dao is no exception. He had seen countless young geniuses, but the moment he saw the terrifying sword mountain, he could no longer maintain his composure. Old Zhang, Old Zhang, what's this guy's name? What's his occupation? 
I'm going to decide this kid. No matter who comes, it won't work. We in Kunlun are going to decide. This moment, He Dao finally understood where Zhang Yanqing had the confidence to challenge him. Killing a level 70 giant giant ape in one blow, how could this horse riding be something that a new job changer can do? Dongsheng City, a small county town, is really in trouble. It's still a real dragon. Looking at the spectacular sword mountain, even Zhang Yanqing, who had been mentally prepared, couldn't help but feel excited. He spoke Chu Jia's message with great pride. His name is Chu Jia, and his profession is, field master. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.